She like my kick game. <laughs> and we met. <laughs> And when you with me, you don't kick game. Believe it or not, like Ripley's. I put a front row at the Nick game. It's, 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 you mm, know. Mm, mm, I didn't expect y'all Ripley. to like align yourselves with, with losers in such a way. <gasps> oh, he starts All some right, cat not too, not too much. I didn't know you guys yeah, to like align down. yourself with losers don't in such it. a way. No, don't but like this that. is poetry. She says she was gay until I slayed. Now she's strictly dickly. <laughs> That's powerful. Because you're saying it was powerful, right, P? He's saying it was, he's saying it was, it was okay, crazy. For, for the confused listeners, we're quoting Jermaine oh, Co- Shakespeare Cole's latest verse on Cash Cobain's song, Grippy. <laughs> Grippy. Y- y'all don't have to say it like that. Mm-hmm. Grippy. Mm-hmm. You do know that, right? Mm-hmm. We have, no, we have to. You don't have to say mm-hmm. Grippy like Grippy. that. Grippy. <laughs> That's how he says it. Mm-hmm. He doesn't say it you like sure? that. So <sighs> this entire weekend, the sun was out, yeah. the weather was beautiful. Was it? I heard it rained on Monday. I, I wouldn't know because I wasn't here. <laughs> but wait, right, wait, 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 wait. In monsoon. Where you was at? You're chilling. I was in place. Palm Springs. But I don't want to interrupt your thought. Wait, was it It was beautiful weather? <laughs> no, it was just a lot nah. going on. And y'all come back like just saying, grip it. Grip it. Yeah, grip it. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I didn't, I, I've never seen anything penetrate you ain't see yet. Where he was, yet. You ain't see where he was taking it? I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm still. Yo, I'm so confused. If you haven't listened to it by now, guys, re-listen to it and then and then jump back in because I'm so confused. I feel like I'm living in like an alternate reality. Like that a, verse confused me so much. Like, as a J. Cole fan, you feel like you're living in an alternate. I, I don't know what I don't know what is happening, but I'm just choosing to you know just just go with just it. go just go with the flow. Yeah, she like my kick game. Nah, it's oh it's fake fire. <laughs> no, he's right. Pierre does like it. That's right. Kinda. First off, shout out to Cash Cobain. Oh, yes. Cash Code Bang got the whole city. And honestly, it looks like the music industry right now. Mm-hmm. Outside. Yeah, he's that women, guy. Yeah, he's that guy right now. Women are dancing. Women are... Yeah, and we're talking about women. Like, when you listen to Cash music, you might get a little horny. Yeah. <laughs> it's sexy drill. sexy drill. Yeah, Ooh, sexy jinx. drill. Yeah. Jinx. He says, you know, <laughs> exactly, right? Jinxies. 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 Say, what is fed up with us? Uh, this, you know, because it's uncomfortable talking like... <laughs> When J. Cole did his sexy bag, <laughs> Grippy, like, Yo, yes. the sexy bag is not it. Like I, I, I absolutely, I hate when you Y'all heard it in the morning? Uh, oh, yeah, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. That wasn't right? bad. I yeah, do, but... I do hate when he gets in his sexy bag. I, I think it's very cringy. <laughs> Let me say raunchy. That's a good word. I don't like his raunchy bag. Grippy. Like, hitting like in the morning was cool. Yeah, 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 like, I don't want to hear you talking. Like, I don't, <laughs> there's some people you just hold in such, like, esteem. It's like, I don't even think you have sex. Right? Wait, what? Like I don't look at J. Cole and think, oh, he's out here, you know, getting pussy. Like, you think he's I, I better just, than pussy? Like you can't. I do think him. some people are better than pussy. He's above pussy. I do think some people. But he came out of one. So a lot of us do. <laughs> and he not has like every, two kids. But that's just not who he is to me. Like I don't see him talking about. I like, could picture him, not picture him, but I know he has <laughs> sexual intercourse. But I just, I just think of him as a person that doesn't talk about it. Mm, so then uh, when he's on on Jeremiah's planes, he goes. Dick so big, it's like a foot is in your mouth. Yeah, nah. I, I don't to... like when he does that type of stuff. Back when I used to say pause, I used to pause that shit. <laughs> that was a yeah. crazy like, ass. What verse. you mean? I don't feel like repeating that shit. As our in-house J. Cole connoisseur. Yes. What is the cringiest bar that he's given us? And then I think we should like start the pod for it. <laughs> yeah, we'll get into this later. Um, is this shit grippy? They it's think I'm crazy. The, mm. They think I'm the shit, but I ain't even farted yet. <laughs> said these. That's not ice spice. Is this That's not ice. fucking that was Jack ice Harlow? Spice? Yeah, that was no, no, ice spice? no. J Cole walks so Ice Spice could run in her shit bars. <laughs> like J Cole, he he raps about shit a lot. That's like funny. he says poop and shit a lot. Does he really? Real J Cole fans know he has his like weird thing. Right? That makes sense because he liked to rap about mad normal shit. So like you know, shit people can relate to like taking shits. See the thing when when I hear him talk yeah. about it, like who is he talking to? Huh? Who is he talking about? Like, who's the audience? Because he has a wife. And That's he what is happy. Me so too. it's like when you're yeah. talking about like the the song, and you know what I like, and and I think this may be a sexy bag. I don't know if it's a sexy bag, but red leather on future. Yeah, he yeah. talked about like cheating on his wife or some shit. He was talking about yo, like he had a the, the verse was, but the line was. <laughs> I know what you about to say <laughs> the Ruby Rose verse. You know the oh, Ruby Rose line. Oh, word. Did, talking, oh, I was on a whole other. He was like, nah, as he has a wife, right? Yeah. He said, yo, I'm doing it wrong. Future got mad hoes. Yeah, like the temptation. Like, I don't know I was who like, he's Cole. talking about when he's talking about all these holes he got in his phone. And he legit said, like, with one keystroke, I could bag Ruby Rose. I'm, and I'm like, damn, like, bro, like what's what happening yeah, with you? I don't like you? when he talks like that. So like, wait, conscious niggas don't get horny? He's, I don't think do. he's him as a conscious dude, though. Common don't really get horny. Don't. Common had a he girlfriend. Horniest nigga Common had a girlfriend every month in the year. <laughs> Different ones. Con- conscious niggas don't get horny? 
Conscious niggas probably the horniest. Yeah, because they have to like suppress it from the world. <laughs> exactly. They got to pin it yeah. inside. Most deaf. <sighs> you know he a freak. Bro. I have no <laughs> idea what most deaf is. You know he I a really freak. don't. I hate this. I hate this era we're in of Cole because you know him bowing out. That was a whole thing. I know everybody changed their position on him, and then also this grippy verse because I was listening to his old songs the other day. Like he's really like a phenomenal rapper. But this chapter, I feel like a lot of people are forgetting that. Oh, don't yeah. worry, we're gonna get back to it. But sometimes you do it to like, yourself. Yeah, huh? yeah, it, yeah it, it's it, his fault. Sometimes you do it to yourself. <laughs> like he he did this, and it feels like he's got a lot of people in his ear right now, especially in this moment. It's like, all right, mm-hmm. come on, like. Pick your side and stick with it. It's yeah, we're going to talk about a lot of people being in, in ears and handling and advising and, and and all of that a little bit later. Yeah. Actually, J. Cole's good brother, his, his guy. I don't know if they're still cooling out, but Drake, we're going to talk about Drake a little oh, bit later. We are. Um, it Drake was Memorial Day weekend. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All oh, of yeah. us are around okay, the same we'll just age. Just right past the recap. <laughs> oh, it's fine. All of us are around the same age. I'm sure everybody was a little bit outside. Yeah. Everybody has off of work on Monday. Yeah. We are the nine to five podcast. Okay, these. <laughs> Three co-hosts that you are seeing on camera. We all have nine to five. So we are still of the people. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to leave that (laughs) alone. Nah, retweet. But um, (laughs) for the time being, I think it's super relatable and I think it's super fun. Yeah. And actually, I'll kick things off. And then Reggie, I want to hear about your time in California because I had a story. It's crazy how my life, like when things happen in my life, the first thing I do is, yo, I'm going to come to the podcast and I want to talk about it. Holy that's real. It's the first thing. Like, I don't know if that's cute or sad. Either I don't know either. Honestly, it's a little Cause, bit. Because I can relate. Yeah. It's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of both. Yeah. But for this instance, mm. there's been a recurring theme on this podcast and we will introduce oh. it to all the new listeners, all the old listeners and all the reoccurring listeners. There's a reoccurring theme that we do like to discuss on this podcast. So last week I came on and I showed y'all my landing strip. <laughs> right. <laughs> the I back of his bald head. My landing strip to the yeah. gang, to the world. And there was a lot of people yeah. who reached out to my DMs and they showed support. And it was like, yo, shout out to you, man. I think a year ago, you may not have had the strength and the courage <laughs> to take off your hat on camera. Oh, Kudos God. to you. And I'm like, wow, thank you. It support was a beautiful group. moment. Yes. Yeah. It was like, I felt like I was in a support group. Legit. But whatever. <laughs> like, hey, cool. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was dope. That's stupid. So this week, yeah. again, I told you, my clip is broke. So, you get new ones? Um, I ordered them this morning. But I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why because I went to the barbershop. I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to go to the barbershop. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, so after the landing strip scenario, landing strip scenario. <laughs> I went to the barber and my barber, I guess I guess he thought I was cheating on him or something. I don't, I don't know what his intentions was, but he had asked me, he said, hey, man, like uh, you tried to cut your own hair. <laughs> I'm like, so, yeah, I did. So you tried to masturbate. The evidence was there. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't even lie. He's yeah. like, yo, you missed the spot. I'm like, yeah, nigga, that's why I'm in your chair. Like, so he's like, yo, you missed the spot. He's like, yo, don't worry. I got you. Okay. That's, that's, those are good words from the barber. Is it when you're bald? Yeah. That's why this you... whole barbershop thing still confuses me, but I'm trying to suppress my intrusive that's, thoughts. No, it's that's okay. kind of <laughs> the easiest cut to give, though. Yeah, like what is... Which is why yeah. when I heard I got you, okay, I was a little like on edge but I'm like you know what it don't matter he got me this my man he gonna hold me down he gonna give me the super shine on the baldy or whatever he might <laughs> the lace the beard shine. a little bit I have no idea yeah. but I was super super tired that day and so whatever he, he's shaving the head was and it on a Friday a it was a Saturday morning I wanna say okay. yeah Saturday morning I went to the barbershop cool so I'm laying back in the chair and um, he he has the clippers, so he's bzz, bzz, you know the lineup. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My, I don't have a lineup, so when I feel <laughs> nah, the, he made one, but when I feel the clippers on my edges, I'm like, nah, All right, maybe he wrong. is doing something a little. I haven't, I, I don't know what's going on. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, so is he shaving your head or what is he doing? He's doing everything, <laughs> a full service. I don't know Everything's what's not happening. To. <laughs> he's wearing gloves today. Normally the nigga just cut my shit bare hands. I'm like, nah, right, nah, well, he's, he's really finessing. He, so he just ate some fish. He wanted to be clean. I finished. I finished <laughs> the haircut, and um, Alex and and fellas out there, y'all know. After the cut, yeah. he holds up the mirror. Like, yo, how you? What you? What oh you looking gosh. at? Right. <laughs> Homie holds up the mirror. Damn. And I had a full hairline. Wait, Wait, what, what? the heck? <laughs> Wait, what happened? You have hair. He, he enhanced me, put a little enhancement on that? I do not have hair. He sprayed my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he gave you the Beijing. He lined me up. He gave you the Beijing. Nah, I ain't going. This is not hair. No, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. But you fooled, you fooled wait, us. Wait, wait, I mean, wait. well, me. I'll speak for myself. I was wait. like, oh, look, you have hair. That is not hair. He but wh- sprayed it. But he didn't want to tell you? I didn't like. He okay, like, now that now that I'm zooming in a little bit, it's a little questionable, guys. It's not hair, like. But from far away, it looks legit. It looks legit. So I had 
Marker, no I had Sharpie on my head. I had Sharpie on How my head this week. Why did he just take it upon himself to do this? I scrubbed it off as soon as I got home. <laughs> I felt bad. I didn't want to tell him like in a barbershop, like, nigga, what the fuck? So I paid him. He didn't charge me any extra or whatever, but maybe he thought I was just giving it up for Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> so he gave me a hairline. He shaped up the marker. <laughs> so the marker actually, like, he just did some shit. Wait, but this is your regular like, barber. My regular barber. So why did he just randomly do this, though? Well, he I, just sprung I, that on you. I think <laughs> maybe because... Because he saw the landing strip, he thought I was trying to grow my shit. Oh. Because there was a patch, and maybe he tried to blend it in. He tried to blend in one. Nah, he, I'm going to tell you why he did bad. He's supposed to ask you before. Yes, that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. He, said well, he said, I got you. <laughs> nah. That's a big decision. Yeah, I got you. Could mean spray so many. down your, he your head. He said, I got you. But you ain't feel the spray? I thought it was the sheen spray. The ball, you know, you get baldy. Well, oh, I don't know. You may not know. Ah, uh, yes, the, she, the sheen spray. They, yes. they spray the sheen on my uh, head, regardless. Okay, okay, like, okay, I still okay, have okay. a scalp, right? I still need to treat my scalp. So, as he's spraying, I'm nah. not thinking there's anything different. But once I felt the clippers on my edges, on the edges I don't have, you're like, what is he doing? Okay, okay, I see what you're saying. That's okay, what I'm saying. Like, okay. I, didn't, I had no idea. <laughs> I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Oh, no. So, that was my weekend. <laughs> Wait, That's I love terrible. these weekly bald updates. <laughs> Yo, I am fucking crying. Say Von nah, Bob in there doing whatever. The bald shit? adventures. Yeah. Oh my God, this got it, bro. Yo, can we make that the episode art? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> what you think? What you think? <laughs> gonna do next week? <laughs> if they were up to me, not. I would have. I would have done it. But. <laughs> I was gonna send it in the group chat, but Reggie's too good at her job. In those weekly carousels, <laughs> I didn't want to see my face with that the fake edge of it. Had you there. Yeah, with I the know. crisp line. Nah, yeah, you gotta yeah, watch yeah, it for next yeah, week yeah. now, nigga. He might put some straight backs on your shit next so, week. Yeah, he, he might have some braids. Nah, he gonna give Savon waves next yeah. time. <laughs> well, right, step March, by step, like shit. Oh my gosh, that Savon is... with waves would be insane. <laughs> wow, wow. Hey, anything can happen. You paid him extra? <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I did it. I just gave, a, gave him the regular, bro. Just give him a little more tip on that. I didn't ask for it. Hey, <laughs> like, I didn't want that. He just sprung one on you. Uh, nah, nah. 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 My, my boy got a choice. I don't like that. That was funny. <laughs> <coughs> Thank yeah. you for sharing. So, yeah. I got my no. hair sharpie done. <laughs> and then you scrubbed it off. And then I scrubbed it off And now we're, we're starting right where we were. Yeah. <laughs> But Wait, no do you still have the No, 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 no. <laughs> See, I oh. you little freaky ass nigga. Like, You're a 69 guy. Hey, hey, hey. I was hey, like, is hey, it still hey, there? Running for your life. <laughs> Absolutely not. No more Stupid, landing strip. Bro. Clean, shaved head. On, I feel bro. good. Yes. And, and, and I'm, I'm honored and happy to be here. Nah, it's a pleasure yeah. to have you, man. Hey. I, at least people care about you, though. Yeah, yeah. thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. I am going to have a talk with him the next time I see him. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, and I'm going to ask him, like, hey, like, what you... was you trying to tell me about me? Nah. Like, like, why did you do that? Did you project? <laughs> like, oh, take oh, your hat off. Oh, he, oh, he bald, too? I don't know what he is. Okay, okay, okay. okay. He always has a hat on? I don't know what he got going okay, on. He's a good guy, though. Shout out to John. Shout out to John. Yeah, oh, you know him, know him. He might see this. Nah, he's an older gentleman, oh, but okay, you know, okay, war okay, travels, okay, okay, niggas okay. in the barbershop, okay. they they gotcha, listen gotcha. sometimes. Yeah, they'll be no like, oh, say I was talking shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha, yeah. Shout gotcha. out to Big John. Like, he, 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 he's a good one. Gotcha. 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 That's but up. yeah, with that being said, what's going on? It's the Need to Know podcast. I go by the name S A V O N. You feel me? Save on. I got you. I am here. Thank y'all. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here. I'm with my good brother and sis. What? <laughs> I gotta get used to this shit. Wait, yo, we're both confused. Your sis is like, yo, no. take no, no, it away. I thought, no, no, because I, I thought you said in sync. I was like, what the fuck is he saying? No, I said in sis. My brother, sis. Yeah. my good brother in sis. You want to do it again? I can do it. No, 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 Poppy, never alone. I'm always with the posse. Hello, everybody. I feel blessed to be here. It's West Coast Reggie on the mic today. <laughs> um, I know, I know, I'm confusing you guys a little bit because a few weeks ago I claimed uh, Jersey, and you know, DJ yeah. Reg was on the mic. But me, I just came back from Palm Springs, and I don't know, California. <laughs> you, you guys got it. You guys, no. I'm finally done no. slandering. Like Thank every you. time I come back from California, like I'm like, wow. Welcome. It felt like a dream. Welcome. You're like another trip closer to leaving us. Mm -hmm. Facts. One thing about Bi me. One thing about me is I'm gonna hop on a plane That's and right. go on a girls trip. That's right. Since we, I was telling Alex, since we started potting together, I've been on like seven girls trips. <laughs> Shut because they know you're not gonna fuck it up on a girls trip. What do you mean? You're gonna play the music. You're gonna oh be the designated ox. Thank you. Thank you. I get it. You're not gonna get too inebriated. And I'm like such a. You're not gonna be the hating ass bitch in the group. Oh, I wish <laughs> Come I could. Come on. Yeah, I, I got know. invited to I a know. girls trip. 
That, you that don't is, gotta fuck all of them. That's weird. No. <laughs> that's how it goes. No, because they were saying that on Twitter, Reggie. Hold on, don't be mad at me. They said, <laughs> no, no, not you. That's what I'm saying. They, them inviting him is weird. That's what? what they said. Wait, give us context. That's a gang. <laughs> that's what they said. That's my gang. You gotta fuck but all of them. But why would? Okay, I didn't, is it a girl's no, trip? No, I'm just go. It's a girl's trip. And then they invited you because you're oh. not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to invite one guy. Like, but they all in agreement that I'm cool enough to be there. That's what I'm saying. That's they, no. They got new rules. Agrees. What do you mean, though? Like, what the fuck? I don't like this. No, Reggie. They got new rules. No, that's Some, that is no? the that's the first rule of a girls one? trip. It's just girls. But they bringing him for a reason. They this is what they saying out there. I'm just saying this new rule. <laughs> they saying if the girl bring her boyfriend on the girls trip, everybody got fucked. I'm just telling y'all what. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm just a friend. Is that why they ask you? Is that why they ask you for what? Are you just a friend? <laughs> yes. Like like oh, he's it's saying, a girl's trip. I want to know your name, man. I want to know when you met a man. I want to know. I want to know everything. Right? You just a friend, right? I want to know what you're all about. Because you're, you're telling me you're just a friend. We'll, unp we'll unpack that later. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, we also got our yes. guy Pierre in the yeah. building. Pete. Shout out to Pete. Ooh, Killer yo. Pete. Put, put the camera right on you. Right? First class, Pete. Yeah. I, I got a PSA to make. Okay. So, you ever been driving and somebody does the most erroneous shit you've ever seen in your life? Erroneous. Good word. So, I'm driving. I was in uh, Rhode Island, right? Mm -hmm. That's where you live, right? No, 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 no. See, I'm <laughs> big New York. You're, anyway, forget all that. So I'm in Long I'm in uh, Rhode Island. I'm driving, and this lady tries to run me off the road. Yeah. And you ever been in a position where, like, yo, you can't get away with this? Like, you no, like you can't I just mean, like you, you not, not no road rage <laughs> type joint, but <laughs> you, 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 like, you, you have a point to prove. You turn yeah. to Batman. <laughs> turn to Batman. Like you turn it to like <laughs> vigilante. A vigilante. Rex. Like is no way. <laughs> it's my you can duty drive now. This reckless. <laughs> it's my duty now to make sure like she knows. Look, you can't like drive like that. <laughs> but I'm like, you know what? I should just chill out. It just so happened that everywhere I was turning, she was turning. I hate and then that. it came to a point where I was like, you know what? I got to call the cops on you. I got to call the cops. You're such a Karen, like a Haitian, like a Haitian Karen. Yeah, what the fuck? Why would you do that? Why would you call the cops? Because Pete, right? I got to. I mean, As if a, she was like stalking you, then yes. But like. Nah. So Pete, I call the cops because I'm like, yo, this, oh, the God. optics looks bad at this point. I'm a black male. <laughs> And she's a, you know what I mean? She's not black. <laughs> she, you can say so, she's white, bro. She's, she's white. white. She's like, you're in Rhode Island, my niggas. I get it. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> so the optics look crazy. I can't just keep, you know, doing what I'm doing. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just take off of this exit, but I'm going to call the cops. So I called the cops. I was like, hey, 911, this is an um, erratic person driving on the road. Um, <laughs> they was like, shut your whole ass up. They're at mile marker XYZ. You should probably get them when we're traveling this way. But yeah, I had to call the cops. I'm Wait, like, yo, Pierre. I can't. Like, you, you OD. You really just put jeopardize my life. You put my life in danger. Like, Pierre, did you have the longitude and la latitude of her like location? How did you? Nah, so did when you have you, a license plate? <laughs> <laughs> I got the license plate. She was driving okay. right, right behind me. Um, go, 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 go. But every highway has a mile marker. That's how um, cops... And you know, just servicemen and women find where you are on the highway. <laughs> right. So I use my my knowledge, and I was like, I bet I can't do nothing to you, but it's I can call the cops. Like, he really, I am Batman. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I must handle this situation. I must, I must this. protect Rude, bro. I was perturbed, son. But after that, I was just like, you know what? I, I, I felt, son. I felt good. I felt good. But wait, that. when you said tried to run you off the road, like you mean she just saw your car and wanted to like? Yo, bro, it was the craziest thing. There was no reason. I'm. Cooling, driving down the highway, and then out of nowhere, she just makes a hard left, I, as if like she was trying to ram my car. I'm like, yeah. Maybe she was flirting with you. That's not the way to flirt. <laughs> Maybe she was flirting with you. That is kind of strange. Like, why is this? Yeah, why was she doing that? She was trying to get your attention. I'm she good. said, "Ooh, black man, <laughs> black hey, man." Oh my goodness. <laughs> she did you not know, say that. You shit. know what they say? <laughs> what, what I don't do they, know I what don't. they. I don't. I don't inform us. <laughs> Nah, I don't say that. maybe we, do, we just don't know what they said. <laughs> I fucking bet. See, he always try to throw the lob for us to like get the fuck out of here. But yeah, uh, yeah. that 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 was my weekend. That yeah. was a great weekend. I know yeah. a lot of things happen. Alex, nothing for you at your weekend, brother. Yeah, now nah, I uh, had a very eventful weekend because of J. Cole and Grippy, mm -hmm. which we'll be getting to. That was the soundtrack to the barbecue. For you? For us, me and the guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Put, and it was fun. Oh, man. When we get to that, I, I know we're not going to get to it just now, but that was- I um, mean, we can talk about it. We started the pod with it. We might as well. <laughs> Everybody knows who we are. Let's get to Grippy. Let's get to gripping. Grippy. Hey. Mm. Wait, I just want to mention a highlight of mine this weekend yeah. with the girls. We just woke up every day, was chilling by the pool, just great stuff. But we made a decision to get poolside hibachi 
Yeah, that I was did fly. see that. That's that, was fly. Fly. that was fly. And I just, I just want to say, highly hard. recommend. So if you guys are going on a trip uh, soon, do it. And you should think of the Need to Know podcast. Hello. That yes, was fly. But that's it. Front. Everybody book a trip. It'll change your life. Wow. Yo, you judging me if I go on a girl trip? Yes. <laughs> me? You judge me? Because, no, because I know how it feels like to be on a good girls trip. Uh-huh, like okay. the, just the energy of just being around the girls. We were making pancakes, you know, mm-hmm. blasting girly music. So like, why the fuck would Savon be there? I got, I know why. Like that would bother me. I'll be like, Savon, what are you doing Maybe here? it's like protection. Like maybe they just want to feel safe. Ugh, but then what to, would you be doing? Like I, I was going to allude to that. Like maybe they just like, want to feel safe. Like my energy is you, safe. My energy is comforting. Oh, my brother. energy is welcoming. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Emotional support. You get Practice. what I'm saying? Like, and also physical support. <laughs> so then it could be like physical support. It yeah. could. Be, oh, what type of physical support? In, in case an intruder might okay. intrude. <laughs> like, duh. The, the but fuck? then by that point, you should make it a friends trip and invite more guys. It shouldn't be one guy with but like nine I'm girls. The, like I told I'm you, the cool guy. Not. Like they don't really want to fuck with the other guys. And like you know that. what they do with the cool guy, right? I don't. I tell me. I already said it. He said you're gonna get passed around. I'm trying to tell no. you, they're gonna treat you no. like a joint, my boy. They're gonna, not... <laughs> they gonna, they gonna pimp him out. They're gonna pimp him out. Nah, man, tough, it's, it's just you know. Nah, so I know. If, if we I being know. honest, it, it yeah. could have been more people, but mm. like just the other guy, he yeah. he just kind of yeah. removed himself. <laughs> Because he so, saw this was a freaky situation. He did. No. He did see was a, why is this freaky? You got to watch Yo, out for that freaky shit, right? Y'all, y'all got to mature. And then mature. Savon's like, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> y'all got to be a little bit more mature, man. Like, <laughs> we all mature. Nah. You don't see what's going on outside if you're not mature? I don't. It's they freaking an orphan. Nah, man. I, I just, again, I yeah. thought it was dope. It That's was a like a girl's trip. They're like, Yo, hey, how you doing? Like, <laughs> we going on a trip. You want to come? I'm like, sure. That's fire, <laughs> That's sure. fire. You got a group of yeah. women that feel comfortable around you as a yeah. man. That's really fire. Thank you. I, yeah. I understand yeah. that. We all love that in men. But <laughs> yeah. I'm saying if it's a girl's trip with like seven girls and Savon is just there, I'll be pissed. Word? <laughs> you would like exile I'll, him? I'll be like, Savon, go home. I'll be like, please go home. Like, <laughs> that's, that's hate. <laughs> that's like, <laughs> yeah, there's no other words for me to say it. So if the other six girls on your trip was like, yo, I think he's cool enough to come and just chill or whatever, yeah. you'd be the one hating ass friend to be like, no, nah. Well, nah. I don't go on girls trips with girls that do that. We don't invite men to the girls trip. Mm. Oh, okay. We just all do not do that. Okay. So that would not happen. Damn. Okay. I, feel you. I told you not to do them girls' trip. Damn, you got a whole group of haters, huh? <laughs> yeah. What? We just don't. Of... I feel oh you. Goodness. But why not, though? Because what y'all really be doing that niggas can't see? Mm. Girly stuff. Mad shit. Yes. Nah, they be doing shit. What, like Girly what, Alex? Stuff. I, I, I wouldn't be there, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> but they be doing stuff. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I be hearing. <laughs> do not shoot the message. I fuck already, so I'm going to chill. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to chill, because you really don't. Yeah. You heard what she said, hibachi in the aux cord. That's Come it, on, man. Stop. Be I'm wholesome, ready. queen. Hello. That's, all, you, that's all they do, right? That's yes. grippy. I'm trying to tell you something. Go on my Instagram. I'm going to have a story highlight. You guys will enjoy it. Hey. But... And then I, before we move on, you guys, we've been saying this for three years. We have never gone on a trip together. Word. Not even like work related. Like why, why? Why? Why are we, we gotta traveling change together? That. We I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Karen gave me some news at the top of this week. Uh-oh. We might be able to do that. Let's do it, Karen. Oh, <laughs> yo, shout out, yo, bah, 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 bah. shout out to Karen, Karen man. Karen's Frank. a good guy. Wait, I, what? I, would, I would be down, but I don't know. We really. Wait, have I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Now I'm excited. Nah, me either. We're gonna talk later, I guess. Though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, y'all know. Y'all just not thinking about it. Y'all know, but like. What? I mean, nah. yeah. Really? I'll just bleep this. I'll just, I'll just bleep this. Okay. But, um... <laughs> oh! Yeah. Hey. oh yeah, that's always good. Let's do that's it. That's always good. Big that's boy. Good. Yeah, Back the, the big, big boy. boy. Yeah, so. yes, yeah. Guys, they're going to the buy fish. me a Birkin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks, what color you, What color you said you wanted that? Pick the Max Special, right? Yeah. All right. Yes. All right. So, yeah. All right. Um, also, before we get into this, we are going to get back into our Patreon community. I, I've seen a lot of people come over there and support. Shout out to y'all. Mm-hmm. We do have a ton of episodes coming your way that y'all can tap into. All of our Patreon information is in every single description. If not, you can always DM Alex, all right? Word. Make sure y'all <laughs> DM <laughs> Alex and get all the links that you need. He will provide them. <laughs> from from the Patreon to He's our like, yeah. photos, uh, we do plan on having yes. another party, another mixer at some point. When we have those photos, yeah. you can go to Alex for those too. The mm-hmm. after party, just, just, right? Just mm-hmm. keep messaging him. Everything just is for Alex's yes. DMs yes. Um, yes. related to the Need to Know podcast. Yes. So please make sure y'all continue to flood that. Yeah. Yes. Um, and yeah. leave myself just, just alone. Just bother him. Yes. <laughs> leave yeah. Reggie alone. You please, know, yeah. we don't need that. <laughs> She's this good. Not, yeah. I need to bother him. Yeah, 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 let's, yeah let's, she's so good. let's do that. Yep, 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 um, yep, yep, do we yep. have anything else to discuss with Grippy? Like, it was kind of uncomfortable. It was like, oh, oh it's mad to discuss. Like, you know, we oh, have, we didn't even start. Yeah, you know, we have the in house dream villain in the house. Grip it. 
So I just want to say that no, I don't like the verse. I think everybody hating it. I think it's very legit. It's like, what the fuck is the shit, Cole? <laughs> um, so as we stated, we already all covered that I don't we, we don't like when he gets in his sexy bag. And I was thinking about why. I think it's because what it reminded me of, you guys remember seven minute drill when he dissed Kendrick mm-hmm. or whatever? Yeah. It just sounded like he didn't want to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when he gets in his like sex, sexual raunchy bag, it just doesn't <laughs> feel like authentic. Yeah, like I, w- I will credit him with this, man. When he goes, are you about to play it? Mm-hmm. All right, cool, play it. <laughs> Nick gang, Nick gang. It's it's it's, it's, it's mm-hmm. grippy, grippy, <laughs> grippy. <laughs> she thinking that if she a hippie, she thinking that if she a hippie. <laughs> I'll buy, buy some Vickers. Nah, it's, it's good bad. That's what it is. It's Yo, good, this bad. Is good bad. This is so butt. I keep playing it. Like, <laughs> that's hard. But the more you play it, the more you love it. Yes. <laughs> Who is he talking about right here? His no, wife. no, no. The next line, she's going to chew on the stick like it's Wrigley's. <laughs> Like Cole does not Cole doesn't talk like this. But like, I will say this though, man. They I, don't even sell Wrigley's gum. The kids don't even know what Wrigley's is. Oh, they Wrigley's. don't sell that shit no more. They don't even sell that shit in the store. Now they sell it, bro. I promise you, you have not seen a Wrigley pack of gum, a big red, none of that spear. You haven't seen any Damn, of that that's shit, bro. True, yeah, yeah. When the last time you seen that, bro? We outgrew Word. Wrigley's. It went from twenty five cents to thirty cents, and now it's not even like there anymore. I do want to shoot Cole a little bell. I ain't gonna lie, because. He when he does features with artists, he tries to enter their world. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad you're bringing this up. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. And again, I know a lot of people are very new to Cash Cobain. Cash Cobain's music is for women. All right, it is um sexy drill. It's 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 sexy drill, right? Mm-hmm. Originated by him. Mm-hmm. The girls love, love playing Charlie. it, making videos to it. Yeah, it's it's a very trendy thing. And I think J Cole was like, damn. Even though I may be turning forty soon, I gotta <laughs> <laughs> I gotta step into what the kids is on right now. Right, like think about it. Don Tolliver just did one with uh, Cash Cobain. Mm-hmm. Like people are seeing what the sauce is doing, and they're like, "All right, cool." Ice Spice just did one. Ice Spice just mm-hmm. did one. Like, and again, Ice Spice is talking about her uh, her oats and her pussy. You know, well, uh, something like that. I'm thinking because I've been eating my oats or oh, some shit oh, like that. Some yeah. shit, some shit. Yeah, <laughs> her oats be working. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. she's her only oats. getting thicker. Which well, is I don't crazy. know what oats she be eating. That yeah. Shit, that, yeah. That shit is yeah. all right. All vegan right. oats. Vegan. Yeah. All, right. all oats are vegan, I Alex. <laughs> vegan, all right. Dang, I just stepped on the joke. <laughs> no, no, no. I like what you said. It. I was believing that because I'm like, whatever old she, I, but can, continue. Yeah. Oh, shout out to A Boogie too. We talking about the Bronx. We talking on about Casco Man. He did yeah, body he on did A Boogie new project. Dope yeah. project. Mm-hmm. So I think the industry is realizing like, damn, whatever that sexy drill sound is, mm-hmm. the kids is love getting it. the kids started and the women are back dancing and shit. So mm-hmm. I think he turned off his smart brain for this one. <laughs> but it's like, okay, I, I appreciate an artist yeah. that will, like if you collaborate with a Latino artist, like you do want to, you know, bring like that flavor and stuff yes. when you're on a feature. But just because Cole adopted the Cash Cobain flow, yeah. that doesn't mean it, like he did it well. That's like, what I'm saying. It, just, it was so like it's. This is so silly. Like what what is happening? But like I don't know. And and I feel like oh, um just one more point. It's, I think like when he was doing this, he kind of he didn't say this, but I think he thought about how he's been criticized before. Where if it was like a sexy or smooth song, and J Cole's guest verse will be about like police brutality or something, <laughs> and then people would like laugh at him and criticize him. Yeah. So I think now he's hyper aware of that. He's like, no, I got to be sexy. Oh shit. <laughs> And then all of this is... Nah, keep playing it. Yeah. Keep playing it. I like red blades. Yeah. Yeah. Not strictly dickly. <laughs> that was the cringe one. 150. <laughs> Even him saying like. Like, that's Cash Cobain. Yes, thing. it is. Yeah. yeah. Like. Ew. Are you going in for seconds? Ha, <laughs> ha. You heard him? Like, I ain't never heard <laughs> specifically on a drill song. He forced it. The next specifically, <laughs> specifically, specifically. <laughs> like, he, that's what I knew. about this was Lip Lake. Lip Lake. They didn't even say the <laughs> word right. Yo, Kyle, you went, Cole, you went Come to college, on, gang. Like, you know how to say specifically. <laughs> For real. Lip Lake. I wish he would have gave a cold fo- uh, flow on that song. Now, I think it's just fun, yeah. honestly. I think it's cool to. Yeah, for real. <clears throat> and, and, and maybe this is the only way that he could come back into the public because after that apology, like, what else can you do? Like, you got to do something. But that's so something fun. like this. You yeah. have to do something so far left <laughs> where we even forget that you did that bullshit. Damn, you saying Kendrick sent him to 
to go talk to the girls. Yeah, Kendrick sent a lot of niggas to do a lot of things. I just wish like Chow or Cash would have you know been professors for J Cole on this task. Like, I wish he would have just played what Charlie Wilson did with Don Tyler. Like, a person that yeah. does what they do. You still Charlie Wilson. Yeah, you yeah. still Charlie Wilson. So get me. So get me. So, like, Ooh, you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, he did what he did on a newer vibe. I think this Damn. is what's. I just, I'm sorry. I just, before, we don't have to play it, but the best lines were. I want to make it feel like I'm touching your kidneys. And then, bitch, I'm going to send all your kisses Disney. I'm going to pay a little extra. Make sure they meet Mickey. <laughs> well, let's hear J. Cole say it. <laughs> That's nasty. That's, yeah. Pay a little extra. Make sure they meet Mickey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, you know, who no, you no. taught? You got your own kids. You got your own family. You yeah. stopped dissing niggas because you loved your family. Yeah. So now you're talking about taking another person's family to Disney? Like, Would come on, you gotta make your mind up. Would no. they be proud of this? Yeah, his kids? If, they, if his kids hear this verse one day, would they be proud? They would not. Word, they like, like Disney. I think you know what it is <laughs> because, like you said, yeah. and you made a great point yeah. with J. Cole on Red Leather. Well, he said, yo, I want to be a little bit, I wish I was more like Future so I yeah. could have all these hoes. Whatever he said, right? Future's we summarize right. it. Like if, that, he, if, 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 if he's going through an identity crisis in his own purse, it's reflecting through his music. I know this is supposed to be fun, lighthearted and all this stuff. Nah. But I think when people do speak, and, and, and unlike Drake, I do believe he writes all of his lyrics. Oh, he for surely wrote that. Unlike Drake. Strictly Dickly. <laughs> he wrote that shit. <laughs> I can't believe it like Rickley's. Oh, he said, he said, she thick in the hips. She a hippie. He wrote that shit. He wrote that shit. <laughs> Yo, wait, wait, wait. Specifically. <laughs> specifically. That's honestly. That's Cole. That's Cole. Specifically that's Cole. is wrote, how that. I know this is Cole's pen. You he get what I'm saying? So for that to be his pen is like, all right, bro. You got to figure out who and what it is that you want to be because mm. I, nobody really wants to laugh at Cole. It hurts to make fun of Cole. It that's hurts said, to say disparaging yeah. things yeah. about Cole because he's been the one that he's almost like, he's like 50 Cent. And, and, and listen to me Consistent. when I say this. 50 Cent is like, I mean, maybe physically, but literally, he like he's bulletproof. Yeah. You, you can't do anything to harm his image, to harm the person. Like he is, he has the brand of being almost Teflon. Right. J. Cole has always been that out of the quote unquote big three until he decided to bow out of this race. So now it's like, all right, you open the gates for people to judge you, for people to look at you a little bit different. And now you're talking about she's strictly dickly and I wish I had hoes like Future and I want to fuck Ruby Rose and like where what is happening where are you, are you gonna going suck on the this? stick like Wrigley <laughs> the only thing I'm thinking about is I hope he's not subconsciously manifesting the fall off that's what I right? was I, I didn't know how to bring it up because people mm. would be like oh my god you're caping for him but like mm. people are saying like not to be funny but like is this like like performance art like is he like <laughs> is he doing his fall off like is he purposely being this bad right to roll out the fall off or is that completely just ridiculous for you to say that that means a lot no no i don't know if i believe i i want to say like i i said i don't like the verse like i'm not caving for him but it's like people are kind of saying like wait mm -hmm. what if this is like all an act but like, bro it has to be because there's no way the fall off after all of the beef amongst drake kendrick uh how people are receiving this feature there is no way the fallout the fall off is a bad album there's mm. no way he doesn't tap into what um, matters that we haven't heard before or just high level rap. There's mm -hmm. no way he doesn't. Because <clears throat> Mike Delete no Later, way. the mixtape he just dropped a few weeks ago, that was really good. Yeah. I, no, thought, it was. It was, I thought it was, it was. good. That no, was a good project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Good project. So yeah. he could still do it. So why is he doing all these things? Like, I, I don't know. I, or maybe, and maybe the fall off, right? <clears throat> Cole has always given us the hint that he has an expiration date as far as his career, like being active. Yeah, he's right? literally saying it. He's yeah. literally saying like, yo, one day I'm going to stop. And when I stop, maybe he'll do the Andre 3000 where he gives verses, but I'm not going to be an active participant as a artist and as a rapper as mm -hmm. I currently am. So maybe he's trying to like check off everything that he has to do. Like I was in therapy the other day. Okay. And mentally, I told my therapist, I said, I have a checklist. Mm -hmm. There's a checklist of things that I want to do, that I need to do before I could actually live my own life, mm -hmm. right? And that, that, that's a little bit different than what he's doing. But I think from a career standpoint, I think he's literally trying to check everything off that he believes the greatest rapper or the best rapper should do. Maybe some of the things that he wants to do um, internally. And it's like, once I check every single box off, 
I can give y'all this last body of work and I will be happy when I look back on my career and say, yo, this is it. You know, mm-hmm. so maybe mm-hmm. this is one of those things where it's like, all right, I'm going to check off this sound. I did a, a sexy drill song, right? Excuse me. I did a song with Benny the Butcher. I've done songs with Drake. Um, I've done songs with everybody. Oh, Royce he did the a K- 5'9". You he know did a what K-pop I'm song. He's, he's done a K-pop. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. at this point, he's almost <laughs> in that era of, let me check everything off so when I can hang it up or when I do say I'm done being an active mm-hmm. uh, competitor in this lane, in this sport, I can say I did it all. And, yeah. and I can go, you know, set off into the sunset at peace. Because we see people like Drake that doesn't look like there's an end in sight. I'm yeah. glad you brought him up, though. But Drake did have a, a time where he was going to retire. Remember? He used to say it all the time. I don't. Uh, he, say, he, said, he said it in his music, though. Okay. I'm fucking forgetting the bar, but I think somewhere by 35, he wanted, he didn't, I don't think he still saw himself rapping by 35. Well, I remember he used right. to diss, it was him in the game and a few other artists who mm-hmm. used to diss the older rappers, mm-hmm. not realizing like, hey fam, mm-hmm. the goal is to get old. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, and to, and to wanna, still do it. Yeah, 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 like the goal is to get old. So I know a lot of people used to diss Jay-Z for being old and rapping and shit like that. But it's like, no. Uh, when you're younger, you're not thinking about, oh, one day I'm going to be old and this is not going to be the same, right? Yeah. Um. So even if Drake did hint at retirement, I think his current actions, and maybe this is the perfect way to kind of get into it, the reference tracks from current artists, from previous artists that were popping at that time, it tells me or it tells anybody with ears that I'm trying to keep up. I don't want to get left behind in the times. I need the assistance. I need the help. His checklist looks a little bit different than J. Cole's checklist, um, but he's just getting some assistance, clearly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, It's funny you bring up the reference tracks, right? Because when you think about his output or just what has made him just so great for the past 10, 15 years has been his consistency and his output. Mm. Now, I think why people really separated him from the pack was that a lot of people just believed for him to be like, yo, how is this dude? constantly thinking about new concepts new slaps new songs and then he's not stopping like some people who are super creative like they needed some uh, they need a break they're like you know what i need to i need to i need to reinvent myself right i need to feel like me again i need to go through things to create new art so i think that's kind of us as we're looking behind the veil a little bit it's like damn bro now it makes sense and again i'm not mad at him real talk but hmm. But, I, and I said this a couple of weeks ago, when it comes to the singy joints, just hold on, we're going home. Um, I need that. Yeah, a lot of those. The way back in the way back. You know the one. Uh, I love that shit. All of those pop records that he's on, like, it's, it's not. You're okay with it? I'm okay with it, but okay. it's not new for us. Why, are you going to say something? No, no, oh, no. I thought you were going to say that you like them. Nah, yeah. Um, fuck. That's what I was going to say. Um, I like them. Nah, just say what you know. No, what I, what, what I kind of wanted to get to. So anybody who doesn't know at this point, um, and also actually real quick, I do want to shout out to people who listen to this podcast to like get their current events, get their news. Absolutely, yeah. Like there's a lot of people I talk to. For us, it's yeah. just in our orbit. It's mm-hmm. in our algorithm. So mm-hmm. I just wake up and I see this shit and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh shit, we're going to talk about it on the pod. Right. But there's literally some people who their algorithm is just ASMR. <laughs> or it's just oh my like gosh. hiking and Let's cooking. Be you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they have no idea about some of the shit that we talk about. So mm-hmm. when I talk to y'all, I feel like oh, everybody just knows. But there mm-hmm. is like a, yeah. a space of people who don't know what the fuck we're about to go into. Yeah. I got the best message the other day. Um, and she she said this. I'm not assuming. She said she was 40 years old and she loves listening to our podcast because she's like, oh my god, you guys keep it like young and fresh, and that's how I get my news. Salute like to her. Yeah. I just love it. Salute shout out to her. Shout yeah. out to shout out to her and all the listeners who tap in to kind of stay up to date with things. So. So with that being said, um, Drake, over the weekend, over the Memorial Memorial Day weekend, there were some reference leaks that came out. Um, and it appears that Drake is not only being accused, but is being proven that he's getting some assistance when it comes to writing his music, when it comes to the melodies in his music, when it comes to creating art, he's getting assistance. Now, before we even get into it, Reggie, I do want to hear how you feel about it. But before we get into it, I do want to stand on that hill that I died on. Wow. I told y'all about a month ago, maybe a little bit more, yeah. that he just makes everything better. <laughs> Verbatim, this actually. This is such an interesting what? angle I, to take. Like, <laughs> all, I'm not, I don't know how I feel. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how I feel. But, but he's like, but I was right. <laughs> but I do want to let everyone know that's listening. Yeah. I still stand on that. 
yeah. that because Drake, he does. He does for make. whatever reason, yeah. and maybe I said this a little bit premature, like this no, was no, no, before no, no, no. Euphoria. Bro, 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 bro. Mad people said this. This before Not Like Us. No, no, no. You're no. not crazy. Mad people have said what you're saying. You're not getting the, the notifications yeah. of people calling me. Oh, sorry about that. I don't know what it, yeah, I don't You're know. not getting yeah. the notifications of people like questioning my sexuality uh, over like defending and saying that Drake is just better than niggas. And now that doesn't mean no. he's a better rapper. And I didn't, <laughs> honestly, like, this is a fucking podcast. So I don't need to give like a reason. I just no, say things I'm saying and y'all to, interpret it how you want. No, I'm saying to your reference point, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of the reason why people aren't mad at Drake is because, well, he makes it sound better. Like, that's kind of always been... That's always been a thing in pop yeah. music. Yeah, that's always kind of been an argument. Like, well, it's, who could do it like Drake? Oh, it's not his voice. I heard it all the time. I'll say this. It hasn't yeah. been cool to say that lately. Yeah. So when I said yeah. that as of late, I got killed for it. And that's cool. But I think we're going to, like, yeah. talk about and listen to some of his reference tracks. And I feel like... Yeah. And y'all let me know. We can actually play a game. Let's be the judge. Okay. Who did it better? <laughs> it's going to be Drake. Just simple. Like, yeah. like it's just simple. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Just simple. Um... <laughs> So yeah, let's just start out with the the first reference track. Reggie, you have anything to add before I start playing songs and shit? I, I think the yeah. What you what you what you want, Reggie? Mm, let's let's play them first. All right, okay, cool. let's do it. Um, so this is Mob Ties, allegedly, and I'm just gonna say allegedly because I don't know if this was recorded before or after. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is the the reference track. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. We're moving fast. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yo, let's look at these niggas. Yeah, I get the gist. Drake. So we, we following, we get it, mob ties, we've heard of this before. Fire, fire song, mm-hmm. fire bop. I think some of the lyrics changed. Drake may have taken some of the lyrics out and, and made his own, but let's listen to Drake. Hire some help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, but let's go deeper, bro. Because, yes, we know Drake does things better. Right, I'm with you. Let's yes. Do it. No, let's yeah, do it. I'm let's... with you. Drake, I thought you were sick of these niggas. <laughs> Not Vori. <laughs> Damn. That shit. Be- he fooled you? Oh, my. <laughs> things that stood out to me, right? All the reference tracks I heard were from the Scorpion album. A lot of them. A lot of and them, And there's right? some that predate that, and we'll get to those too. Okay. But- okay, right. So, again, if you guys remember the Scorpion album... Drake is coming off the beef with Pusha T. He's at odds with Kanye. It's kind of feeling like, you know how he was joking on Pusha, says, is this a 20 V1? At that time, it was more like, is this, damn, is this a 10 V1? Mm-hmm. So again, at that time, nigga, I thought you were sick of these niggas, not mm. for real. And he like, th- that makes oh it my, even worse at O'Scorpion though, because it's like, he bro. just got off the beef of people telling him he doesn't write. Yes. I'm over here thinking songs like Mob Ties on that album is you channeling this yeah. gangster energy. Yeah. To to create some of the shit. I'm sick of these niggas. I'm like, oh shit, you sick of push? Mm-hmm. You sick of yay? And then also at the time, we was thinking his mob ties yeah. were in Houston, Texas with Jay yeah. Prince and what, that what's whole the, Philly. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. you you what's was giving are? what happened? Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. but that but he yeah. gave us the illusion yes. of this is what it is. So I'm with you on that. That's one of the songs. And then actually a few weeks ago. When I went to Joe's pod, yeah. uh, Academics was there. And this was the night that Family Matters. And I want to say, was it Meet the Grams that dropped? I can't remember. But yeah. whenever like the world stopped because Kendrick and Drake both dropped in the same night, Academics was on a pod. And he used Mob Ties as an example, saying, you know, there's a lot of songs that I don't mind if Drake had reference tracks to. But I had a, a, or I heard an inclination that Vori helped him out with mob ties and academics as, and said that academics and he's like a known drake fan he's like as a drake fan it would hurt me to that for that to be confirmed oh he hurt it would hurt damn, me damn he mob, literally said that oh. check yeah, on he, it would hurt him if mob ties was <laughs> something on, that yeah. drake didn't really write <laughs> yeah, yeah. because those are the type yeah. of bars we expect yes. the rappers to actually mean right yeah, yeah, yeah. and rap Duh. and mean and relate to so 
Bro. That's one. That was the latest one. That was the one that kind of opened and, Pandora's box for yeah. this weekend. And there's been more. Because yeah. now there's a ton. Because that was supposed to be the gangster. I want to say that real quick. Because that was supposed to be the gangster record. Mm -hmm. right? right? Like, yo, I got some ops. This is what's going on. You know what the, the ironic part about that song is? Talk to me. He says, hire some help. Get rid of these niggas. Drake, don't yo. tell me that's what you did. Don't tell me that's what you did. No, no. Well, hire some help. Get rid of these niggas. Did you hire Vori? He literally hired some help. Also. Oh, Reggie, go. I just the, just a funny tweet from my yes. friend Wongo. He said, Shout "I listened to, to the Vori Mob Ties <laughs> reference track just to confirm that I'm not with the Rara. -ra, I am a Dada." Was actually Drake's idea, not Vori's. <laughs> so that was yeah. so Drake, you know, tweeted a little bit, but he was saying shit like that. So right, right. Yeah. And I wanted to kind of just give some quick definitions before we go into the rest oh, of the yes. reference tracks, right? Because I know it's just some people, like you said, we're abreast to kind of what certain things mean, and some people are just like, "What the hell are y'all talking about?" Mm -hmm. Um. Usually reference tracks are used as a template, right? So an artist who's a songwriter will go into the booth over the same beat, give their interpretation of maybe some direction you could take, right? Or maybe you can inflect your voice here or kind of like a cheat sheet in the like sense. Like a skeleton. Yeah, like sort of like a skeleton, right? Yeah. So you could go in, do things quicker, get out of there. Like a reference. Like a, like a true reference, <laughs> right? And I think what's kind of like the line is kind of getting blurred these days because there are artists and there are acts who are basically just copy and pasting. Mm -hmm. Facts. Whereas like, nah, bro, just sing that shit and I'm going to say it just like that. Mm -hmm. Word Aren't some reference word. tracks like that though? They're, People they're, do copy and paste? Yeah. See, that's the thing though. Reference tracks are reference tracks. What the artists decide to do with is on them. So they could have left it, Reggie, at a reference where it's like, you know what? I'm going to take that flow, mm -hmm. but I'm going to change all the words out. I'm going to swap mm -hmm. all the words out. Some, some people just go, you know what? Nah, yeah. I'm going to keep the flow. I'm going to keep the words. I'm going to keep exactly how you did it because I like the way you did it. And here's a song. Mm -hmm. So uh, just for those confused. No, no doubt. Yeah. Let's, let's listen to a few others. Let me know if y'all- Damn, how many drop? Are y'all familiar with these songs? If you've heard these songs? And then also, which one sounds better? Just for my ego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> uh, fuck me. Make me feel lucky. lucky. Wait, this sounds really different, though. Parties in his camp, too. Yeah. Make me feel lucky. Party? I don't know. The... So that's one song. No, but Hold the up. part... Okay. <laughs> Damn, this is party. my live reaction. I didn't hear that one. <laughs> Not legend. <laughs> Not his greatest opening. <laughs> Yeah, we this heard is this Quentin one. Miller. This Quentin, yeah. So balance. <laughs> it's probably not a challenge. So that's three right there. And I, I have a few more if y'all do want to hear. I have it. a question. I hate to be that girl. I'm sorry. Right, I, just, like, I, just, I just, I don't know. <laughs> but like, what? Like, how do we know that this is not AI? I'm just curious. That's I don't a, know. That's a phenomenal question. That's, I, that's I, an amazing I don't know if people are going to laugh know, at me, but know, like, it's like, I know, I know he probably does have reference. I don't know, but yeah. I know Vori is listed on the credits on the, um, on that on mob ties. Oh shit. Yeah. So so it's, it's true. Like it's yeah, true. Yeah. So if it's like damn, if that damn. one is, is true, and then, that one hurts because yeah. you literally said this point, but like right. he was like, that's where we expected him to get gangsta. And like if it was a pop record, like the needle record with Nicki Minaj, and the reference track was yeah. like for the hook, mm -hmm. we I feel like we would have accepted it. Like okay, fine, whatever, Drake. But now that it's mob ties, exactly. songs like that, we're yeah. like, what the fuck is going on? Right and then now? the other ones they want to play right. Party is OVO. Yeah. So it's it, it's not hard to see the other the other flip side of this is Drake has also penned a lot for others. Like I know he penned Heated for Beyonce, right? I think the confusion is um when you call yourself the number one MC and you got the number one pen game, this is why people are trying to do these things. Of course, because of the beef that happened and people are trying to expose you, trying to make you look in the worst light. But once again. You called yourself number one. You called yourself numero uno for however many long. Mm -hmm. And now people are like, oh, damn. Well, a lot of my number ones don't have any reference tracks. Mm -hmm. So again, we love Drake's music. Yeah. It's not going to stop. Like, sure. yeah, but when it comes to the, that number one pen, it, it is hard to have that title with all of this shit on <clears> it. 
the 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 crazy thing about this, and again, I, maybe I will play a few other songs. Yeah, that was a good little compilation video. Little oh, mix. You yeah. found like the perfect one to play. Nah, I got you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Babe, there's a few other songs on here, but Damn, but not Ratchet legend. Happy what the fuck? Yeah, Ratchet you know Happy what, Reggie? Birthday. I'm gonna break your heart a little bit more because <laughs> you broke my heart. And said I can't go on girls trips. Uh, you <laughs> can, I'm I stand fuck by this that. Up for you. Yeah, we know this one. Fifty band. Who is this? Quentin. Quentin Miller. Hey, so, this just doesn't that sound is... as good, by the way. No, it so doesn't. I stand on what I said. But true, say though, a reference track is meant for that. Hundred bands, man. Been discussing, man. Omg. I'm gonna let him see. A lot of people that give reference tracks are okay that they're probably not gonna do the performance that that artist is gonna do. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But well, reference tracks aren't a knock to the writer. Mm-hmm. I think. For any of these people where it's coming out, like I remember I watched an interview with Quinn Miller. I can't remember the platform. I do want to say that it was a Vlad interview because I feel like those gotcha. are the really in-depth interviews. So I did see Quentin Miller say at some point, yo, while my songs are being pla- blasted everywhere, plastered everywhere, people are bumping the shit that I wrote, the the the, the cadence that I created, yeah. mm-hmm. nobody knows that it's me. It did feel good. I did feel <laughs> vindicated in some way when Meek Mill came out and said, yo, that's not Drake, that's him. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. So there, there is, because most songwriters are songwriters because they weren't able to break through as an artist. Yeah. Hmm. A lot of songwriters want to actually be artists. Yeah. But they maybe they aren't marketable. Maybe their voice isn't good enough. Their talent just isn't there. I think it's so a confidence thing. It could also be a confidence thing, but Ugh. let's and I'm, I'll use myself as an example, right? Mm-hmm. I, I feel like I can write decently. I've never mm-hmm. tried to write a song, mm-hmm. but as a writer, you feel like you oh, could I could write this shit. Down. Yeah. I could probably pin something. Yeah, that's how it works. But I can't perform it. I can't get in the studio and lay a fucking verse. I'm not saying you, but like yeah. that doesn't mean that doesn't mean just because you wrote that doesn't mean you're the star. It, yeah, it, does, yeah. it doesn't mean that it will translate to the masses. Mm-hmm. So a lot of writers have that hurdle of acceptance as well. Yeah. It's like you know what this. Sometimes it feels like a thankless position. Sometimes it feels like I'm not loved by the industry. Like I have a lot of friends who have tried to write. Um, again, and 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 this is probably one of the instances where. A writer being my favorite artist kind of works in my favor mm-hmm. because I'm familiar with his story, right? Like Neo, he was a writer before he became an artist. Exactly. And his story before he became an artist is, you know, the the labels didn't really understand me, so they shelved me. The music that I was making, they people just didn't identify with. I didn't meet the right person to make me a quote unquote star. So when you hear a Let Me Love You by Mario and you're like, yo, this song is phenomenal. Yeah. And then you find out somebody like a Neo wrote it before he was an artist. Oh. And then it makes sense. Like, wait, so he did have something there, mm-hmm. clearly, mm-hmm. but it just didn't translate at that time for whatever reason. So you see a ton of Quentin Millers, you see people like Avori, you see people like a Beam. Kendrick Lamar, he mentioned Beam and not like us. Mm-hmm. Make sure you keep Beam around, is mm-hmm. what he said, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Beam, I got introduced to Beam personally on a song with Justin Bieber. He was oh, on yeah, Justin no, no. Bieber's last song. Right. And I'm thinking to myself, first, the first thing that I thought, and maybe I should play that song, the first thing that I thought is, yo, this guy sounds like Party Next Door. <laughs> He's he also on a, a Beyonce song. Yeah. He collected Mad Infinity Stones. He, um, he, has a, he has a Caribbean background, so him yeah. and Party Does shit, he really? Yeah, him but and he party also shit. makes phenomenal solo music, though. Yeah, he does. So yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to pull that song up, but somebody like a Beam, who I was introduced to him because he got on a major artist song, right? right? Justin Bieber at that time. And then to hear he's affiliated with Drake. But now to hear or know or or to learn that he's a writer, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of writers get their starts, or a lot of artists, I should say, get their start as being writers. Because Mm -hmm. they couldn't find any other avenue to get their art out there. And Drake, like you said, Infinity Stones, he's clearly just been collecting, if these rumors are true, if these reference tracks are AI, is Vori. Who we see Vori. A lot of us really Mm -hmm. like and and love Vori. Vori was uh, Dream Chasers. Is Vori, is Quentin Miller, who as of recent, he's been working with Nas and other artists. He hasn't gone. Like his career is still existing because he's super talented. Mm-hmm. And it's people like Bean, mm-hmm. who has top or uh, chop, uh, excuse me, chart topping songs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So 
There, there is what I believe was there smoke, there's fire. That's a fact. Personally, even people like um Money Long, like she she wrote she wrote mm-hmm. pop songs for people like Kelly Clarkson mm-hmm. for years, for years, for years. She wrote and California King Bed. Mm-hmm. And Victoria Monet. Victoria Rome, uh, Monet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande writing so you know what many. I'm you see how no one has an issue with people writing for these pop stars? Mm-hmm. That's why, yeah. The this, fact that it was songs like Mob Ties were there like, go. oh my God. There like, you go. That's, that's the can, main difference. Do y'all mind if I play this Beam song? Go crazy. Oh, I, I, I don't know where his verse comes in. Again, it was like some Justin Bieber shit. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Mm. But it, sa- it sounded like Party Next Door to me. And I'm not talking about like the instruments. I'm not talking about the track. His voice. Just yeah. his voice. Yeah. Let's see if I can find it. I'm going to skim through. Mm-hmm. Cola, cola. <laughs> that Caribbean bounce. Come on, Bean. Yeah. So for me, when I heard that, I'm like, yo, who is mm-hmm. this dude and where did he come from? And how did he get on a Justin Bieber song? <laughs> but now to know that he's also affiliated with Drake oh, yeah. Beam. and Kendrick Lamar saying like he wrote for Drake too, it makes mm-hmm. sense. Yeah, Beam worked on More Life as well. And we remember More Life was the playlist that mm-hmm. was had a, very, a lot of Caribbean, Caribbean influence. influences on it. Yeah. So Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a lot going on. I ain't gonna lie. But this made me realize, because again, damn. Is there a mole? Oh, yeah, because why are all these getting leaked? <laughs> yeah, like, I thought all of that was just, you know, fodder. Is it a mole or does, like, mm. <laughs> the people around Drake really hate him? I think it's everybody? <laughs> Somebody don't like him. I, that, Somebody does not Kendrick like him. Kendrick might have been right about that. Because I in Kendrick's yeah. last verse, and I be, I'm pretty sure it was Meet the Grams, the, the very last verse was all about Kendrick reading the fuck out of him and being like, yo... You're around all these people all the time, but you don't have any true friends. You pray, you really want to be accepted so bad. You keep changing everything. Like you keep, you don't have a true identity. Like he was really reading the fuck out of him. And it was, if those things were true, that would really hurt deep. So I guess like when Saywan was like, yo, do people, d- does the circle actually like him and care about him? I don't know. Like what if, what if he doesn't have really any true, true, true people around yeah. him? You know what it is for me? But we wouldn't know. Drake was on the shop and he said, he was telling Bron and Mav, like, he literally wrote all the lyrics for all the songs that were a hit for him. <laughs> it's just be lying. That's where I'm just like, wait, he was saying I wrote every lyric, that's, that's kind of like, and like hearing it now and seeing what's going on now, it's kind of like, wait, you didn't write every lyric. He thought. If these are true, I don't, I don't know. And, and, and I think, like, people, <laughs> and I hate to compare the two. But when you tell such a blatant lie in the public, the way that he did and the way that Diddy did when Diddy said, I didn't the do truth it, yeah. will set you free. Like, I no, know. the truth is not going to set you free. And I'm starting to realize, <laughs> like, when people say the truth will set you free, they be lying. They're lying. Like, <laughs> the motherfuckers be lying, bro. They just but, want you to tell your truth. <laughs> like, what if Drake did say that? And I think I do remember him saying that on the shop. I think maybe he either felt one. Sometimes... Your ego gets so inflated where you may believe the bullshit that comes out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. Or you think you won't get caught. You ever cheated? Mm -hmm. And. (laughs) Oh, I thought you were asking. Both. No, I am. (laughs) No, I I have not cheated. (laughs) You've never cheated in no relationship? Not even on the lane niggas? I don't know. Of course not. That's a, a, of course, is it? Wait, did you think I've cheated before? <laughs> like, I'm genuinely shocked right now. I don't know if you're joking. So no, you put I that did. on my jacket? No, I did. <laughs> you I thought th- I've cheated before? Like, pre-John, duh. No! No, I can put my hand and look to God. He no, knows. I believe I'm you. I'm not lying. Like, I believe you. I just asked. <gasps> he just casually said, like, oh, yeah, Regina, you cheated before, right? I was like, no. No, nah, because niggas cheat. <laughs> Nah, back when I used to be toxic, yeah. But <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I did. I did, but after she did. But that's what I, <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you still be trying to work it out in that grace period? Oh, what? <laughs> what is... Okay, so what is... nobody initiated cheating okay, on Okay, guys, this, we'll, nah, we'll, get nah, to the, we'll get back to the Drake topic, but like, yeah. what does cheating like feel like? Like, does it feel good or do you feel bad after? Be honest. Nah, your heart just start racing when you fucking that girl. Because you don't know what... You don't know if the, this is being recorded... You don't know you're gonna get a text if or call. she's working with your ex. You don't know. Yo. It's 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 oh man, it's 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 uh, it's heart racing. Yeah. That's all I got. What he said. <laughs> Stop uh, getting shy now. Nah, nah. You start feeling no, bad. She, you start projecting on Shorty. Who 
charge you with today? <laughs> oh, meanwhile, you're the guilty one. Damn, this is a little too real. <laughs> yeah. Well, how could you? Like, I know you actually went through this because that was a little too specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm past that, though. I'm going to change Sometimes, <laughs> Sometimes you cheat, and yeah. after you cheat, you lie. Yeah, because yeah. You already lied when you're cheating. No, 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 no. But there, there's a saying in, in the community, lie until you die. I don't. I ain't been in that community. It's funny. Yeah, sometimes you that. just gotta take it to the grave. <laughs> it's funny. Like okay, sometimes, sometimes it's like I'm going to lie so much that I eventually convince myself that my lie is true, because I have lied so much, and so hard, yeah. and created so many different so scenarios many webs. as oh to why God. this is the truth. When Scary. deep down, I know it may not be the truth. I feel like that's what Diddy and Drake have done that. in yeah. this situation. Mm -hmm. Because Drake, if he got on the shop and he told LeBron to yeah. his face, yeah, he did. I wrote every single lyric on this album. Or when Diddy says, the truth will set you free, they just want a money grab, a payday. They're trying to slander my name and my legacy because yeah. I've never done those things. And then a video comes out that you know exists. You know it exists. You And even if you don't know the video yeah. exists, well, you know what? I'm lying. He knows the video exists because he paid $50,000, yeah, 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 yeah. right? So you know it exists. You may not think anybody will ever see it, but for you to go out and say, Oh my God, this never happened to the people who at some point supported you that you're trying to pull the wool over their eyes. The same yeah. way that Drake clearly has been trying to do with this music shit. Mm -hmm. It's an ego it's, thing. And it's been easier mm -hmm. to kind of deal with because when the all of the masses are on your side for the yeah. most part, they just gonna side with you, right? Like I really, I truly think that Kendrick just opened a trap door. Yeah. Uh, a trap door for like heightened scrutiny for yeah. Drake. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because that's exactly what's going on now. Like, all this stuff is leaking. We're getting all this new information. Oh, and yeah. now that they're on the side of a dude that they feel like beat Drake, yeah. mm -hmm. that's all right, cool. Let's take some of this shit more serious. Because Quentin shit been floating around. Yeah. And it feels like the industry kind of like is imploding itself on him. Yeah. Like, oh, like it opened Pandora's it was a tr I wish Drake would have really just, just took two second, tech seconds to take this shit serious. Oh, Real shit. yo, you are my guy, bro. I, yeah, you my guy. Because I, I wrote that down. <laughs> okay, we on the same. We on the same shit. I wish you would take it serious. I, I also wrote that down. <laughs> yo, you my guy. <laughs> gang, gang, gang. I feel like Drake <laughs> yeah. is playing a character <laughs> of Drake. I feel like the way that he's approached this whole situation, and we're gonna get to this, this next point. I don't know if you have anything else on the reference track. Oh, uh, uh, nah, we got a real track. We don't get to. <laughs> What's going on, Need to Know family? Thank you so much for tuning into this episode, but we need to take a little break to give a shout out at our good friends at Underdog Fantasy. With a 50% deposit match of up to $500 using code Need to Know. That means new users can deposit up to $500 for up to $250 in bonus cash. Yep. So like Alex said, if you want to deposit $10, that means you'll have a $5 bonus bet to play with. If you want to play a little bit higher than that, let's say $500, you get $250. So like Alex, like Reggie said, use the code need to know on Underdog Fantasy. Press pause. Make sure y'all download the app right now to get that bonus and get into the episode. Let's get it, y'all. Yeah. But when I hear him <laughs> rap over BBL Drizzy, yep, after go. after Kendrick Lamar vividly said, when you see Sexy Red, I believe you see two bad bitches. I walked right into the door. Right. When you are standing next to Sexy Red, I believe you see two, two bad, bad bitches. bitches. <laughs> no, like, that says so much without saying anything. Mm -hmm. <sighs> And like you said, the trap door. Drake fell into the trap because you think you mm -hmm. killing it. You mm -hmm. think that you can fool us. Mm -hmm. That's my problem with mm -hmm. this move. So I'll play the song and then please let's get into it. Yo, you really my guy, bro. You're my guy. You know we on the same. Come on, man. I read your notes. That's Hip hop. <laughs> I'm feeling a little left out. I'm sorry, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh, what else? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. For you, I swear. He does make everything. <laughs> what did he say on that? It sounds good. What did he say? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo. <laughs> yeah, you're going to dim you it out now, everything. right? Yeah, Look, yeah, I don't want to hear that bullshit. Drake has to know that the first release out of the battle Cannot can't, can't be, be 
it, it, I, he, did, did we have to tell him that? He doesn't know. No, but he has to know. That's what I'm saying. He's a character. He, he has to he know. He doesn't take this part of it seriously. He, he did yeah. this before where he like pretends he's okay. Like he, yeah. yeah. Like he's not upset. I get a yeah. lot of that. Because it's like, all right, cool. So you, you're you trying to double. I had to have someone break down. <laughs> no, real shit. I had to have someone really break down the win in him getting on BBL Drizzy. Because I didn't understand it. They were like, yo, it was that, that's a dub for him. That was clever. That was clever. Mm-hmm. And I swear, I wasn't on no hating shit. I really was just trying to understand it. I'm like, but y'all, he told him to shut his ass up and make some drums. And then he got on the same drums. Oh, so y'all, under, like, break it down for me. And they were telling me, like, sometimes if you can't beat him, you got to <laughs> join him. And I said, oh. <laughs> like, you don't you didn't agree. Like, I, mean, I, said, I said, okay. This reminded me of, you guys know the meme where it's like, Someone is like crying on the inside, but then there's like a happy face over it. Yeah, That's what it felt yeah, like to me. He's that, like, he's like, ha see, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm, down, I'm, fine. I'm down. And then he's like crying. I've heard BBL Drizzy on Everybody's Real. I've heard it on Instagram. He, you heard it on this pod. I've heard you. We we rapped on it. Oh shit, what's the splits looking like? I don't know. We 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 did a verse on that. I'll leave yeah. it up to you. DM you. Where? All right, DM me, and we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I hope. Aren't you guys like? I just, I hope Drake is okay, though. Like, we're really. Everyone yeah. is just. There's just so much happening. All to he got to like, do is drop a controller part two. That's what. That's what he's doing. Right. He's literally working yeah. on that right now. That, that should have came first. Yeah. That should have came first. He's yeah. doing his best. And what he also needs to do, first. he needs to never like. He needs to stop rapping. I you, think he should uh? just <laughs> turn into a hybrid singer, man. Like the rap. Like Let's I don't talk no, for, about it. I don't think. That he takes rap serious. I don't. Okay, I don't agree because, like, although yes, there are some reference tracks to uh, tracks like Mob Ties. He has a very, very, very extensive catalog, amazing. and he did write a lot of it where he's rapping. And let's not forget how exactly. amazing of a rapper he is. Exactly. You know? No, he can rap well. I think his ability is amazing, phenomenal. Yeah, for sure. I think, but you don't ab- want any of that anymore. His ability to rap is top tier. And that's one of the reasons why I got on this podcast and I said something that a lot of people didn't agree with, mm-hmm. which is he makes things better. Is because his delivery mm-hmm. is one of, I don't fucking know who you want to put as the best deliverers <laughs> of lyrics and rap. Like he's there. You got a rock him delivery. Which is why he could he take- He has like something to him, yeah. Yeah, like rock he, him came through, changed it, then whole started rapping like that. Big Daddy Kane yes. came through, they changed it. He, it. His delivery, his performance on songs is just so- Fucking, and maybe I'm, I'm about to sound like I'm glazing, but like what? it's it's just better. That's just what it is. His delivery. But I think to be the best rapper, legit, yeah. to be the best rapper, there's a certain criteria that I don't think he holds in high regard. Mm-hmm. Because if he did, he would never find himself in this situation. Yeah. I always go back mm-hmm. to multiple Jadakiss. times, and maybe it's New York. Maybe it's my New York bias. Mm-hmm. But for me, I would literally lose faith. In humanity, <laughs> if I found out that Jadakiss ever had a single verse penned for him, you see, you see that? Damn, I know he never has. I know, so I'm not putting that on Jada. Mm-hmm. We love Jada, we respect Jada. Again, I think he is the bar, and again, this could be my bias, or it could just be my respect for who he is as an MC. But the barometer for me is Jadakiss. He has never had anybody pen a verse for him. He don't even. He don't even come off as a type hey. to have that. Yeah. Hey, and I- no, keep going. No, you're right. No, you're right. No, and if he did, I think it would change my perception of the art. For sure. Of the fucking genre. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, because that's what it's about. What kind of like what type of music were you introduced to with Jada Kiss? Right, it's a little gritty. Right, oh, for sure. The right. locks, the I locks was to the locks. You were accustomed to receiving that from them, right? Yep. I don't know when I said it, but I said it on one time on this on this on this podcast. This is why I would prefer if he turned into an R and B artist. It has nothing to do with his rap shit. He's a great rapper. But when I go back to my Drake phase, nigga, it's the shit where we singing. Yeah. <laughs> Cause again, when I was introduced to Drake, take care. Like just that like album. Marvin, Marvin's room. Just Marvin's room. Like just, that type of It's the essence of that yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. And then what, like when I go to his albums now, I always gravitate to the R and B joints. Like the jaded. And why yeah, is that? Yeah. Because respectfully, bro, I don't believe you on that gangster shit. But that's okay. Mm-hmm. I believe niggas like 21 on that gangster shit. I believe niggas like Jada on that gangster shit. When certain people get on gangster shit, I'm rocking. I want to hear that from them because I believe it. I think that's really what it was. I'm like, bro, I never really, all you getting hard and shit. I'm like, bro, you do a phenomenal job. 
with this other shit. Just holding you going home. Hmm. Nah, Nick. Nah. You love that shit. I love that that's shit. That's your shit. That's my shit. <laughs> that's the one you just reference. Just hold home. We're going, going home. home. You love going that shit. Home. I think it's because like wow, that was, like that's a record. The things that wow. he talks about in his R and B ish songs yeah. is one thing, like mm-hmm. one version of him, and then when he raps the gangster shit, it's like it conflicts. Cause like on the R&B songs, he'll rap about like Should I can relate gro- to? growing up in like the summer and like being at this mansion, da 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 da. Like when he was in high school, like stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. And then when he raps, it's like different. So you're like, wait, so now I don't believe you, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a lot of the time stand records, he rapped really well on, but he's getting his shit off. Mm-hmm. He reflects on his childhood, which is super dope and all. But when you getting at women, oh, it's f- way more flyer. Mm-hmm. Like way, way, way more flyer. But. <laughs> Let's see, man. Because oh, the first release out should have been something where it couldn't be denied. Anything but what was done. <laughs> or just, Anything just, but this. just something undeniable. Like the Sexy Red song, right? Like I'm sure there are people that really enjoy Drake's verse. But I know there's people that it's kind of hard for them because it may be the Sexy Red part. Or that, how it starts. Or the yeah. build to get to Drake's verse. Yo, bro. For me, when I first heard it, the Sexy Red part, salute to Sexy Red. But the Sexy Red part, to, um, for me... Was so loud and jarring that I didn't hear jarring. anything else. You're my everyday. Exactly. It was just like, so, Man, I love you. And like, I get to play off of the off key right. kind of thing. I get but it. Like, yeah, She's ass. It. <laughs> and that's cool. Ladies, you, ladies I listening, I do not support. Shakes, I do not support what he just uh, yeah, said. No, she, she makes she makes him shake ass. She no. And <laughs> I love can, sexy red. I'm not saying, I, and I love her too. Mm-hmm. Right. You know why I love her? The same reason I fell in love with Cardi B. I think she's authentically who she is, mm-hmm. and she makes music for the people that she wants to make music for. Mm-hmm. She's not trying to cater to the world, mm-hmm. but that doesn't mean she's not an ass artist. I don't know. Would you? I think, would you, would you call, I think some people have it. Would you? She's call, one of those people that got it. But she has like literally like five back to back hits. Like there's something she's doing right. It is, like, but that's what I'm saying. That we all know. Get it, sexy. Like, she's doing know. something right. McDonald's is great. <laughs> here, we go, here we go. What you mean? We love McDonald's and need no podcast. No, 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 no. We said McDonald's we, is great. We do business with him. Come on now. We do business with him. Hold yeah, on. Let's, let's, let's use another yeah, example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Burger King is something, nigga. I don't know. Yo, Burger King. Yeah, hold on now. <laughs> hold on now. <laughs> Wendy's is great. McDonald's <laughs> money good over here. Oh, my God. Hold on now, yeah. Let's, Wendy's is great. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> but, my man, <laughs> my man we do good business with them on that side. But when I say Rubble, yeah. Rubble. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, I love a good insider. <laughs> robble, robble. <laughs> the like, hamburger. The hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. All right. When I say Wendy's is great, like, yeah, yeah it's sexy red. She is, she but, is, she has a moment. She's doing amazing. Right. Ice Spice, they're great. These artists, they're great. I think they're timely for today. Mm-hmm. But like, do you stand the test of time? I don't think so. Would they're you, ass. Would you call a crime mob ass? I don't. I think she I, will stand the test of time because she makes like party anthems. She like, will stand the test of time because of her personality and because of her and her, her hits. Who she? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Oh <gasps> wait, she hey, has hits, Avon. Can I be honest with y'all? Hey, I think my booty hole brand. You want to know? What's, I think people are starting in 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 in. Maybe it's because she's connected to such a public situation. Mm-hmm. I think people are starting to move away from Megan Thee Stallion. Um, I don't think so. Musically, she she literally sure. sold out. Like fifty arenas. Yeah, so, M- MSG, I think people bro. I still know, love her musically. I don't know, bro. That, you know what? We, I'll, 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 bro, I'll that's not our that demo, game. bro. But, listen, if you, but hit me out though. If you're selling out MSG, dog, someone has to be listening to your shit. She sold out MSG. <laughs> like that's a big feat. In part of because mm-hmm. her management team, a company, okay. record label, whoever, they put a, a, a sale okay. on her tickets. Okay. That doesn't so, mean they're gonna sell. It does. It doesn't. It doesn't mean that. And and again, I'm not trying to knock Megan Thee Stallion. I think she's phenomenal. Oh, I think. Sure. Okay. <laughs> you, that was supposed to be a surprise. Is that a screenshot? Nah, I mean, nah. Ask you a question. My phone right? wants to answer from you because I didn't play that. I asked you. I said, "Would you call a crime mob ass?" Right? Because when they drop "Nuck If You Buck" at that time, it's very different than what everything else is being released. Right? Like there's a downside. It sounds very ratchet, ghetto to an extent, but it's lasted the test of time. So to me, I'm that like, song. Have they or has that song? No, nah, they 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 stand the test of time. That song more than them. <laughs> that song more than them. That song more than them. Uh, uh, <laughs> Don't diss our legends. Don't diss our legends. <laughs> then, like, not this shit again. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. And I'm not trying to diss the legends. I'm just trying to be real. Like, yeah. they may have captured a moment. Right. And shout out to them for capturing that moment and yeah. capitalizing in that moment. I just feel like but, sometimes it's 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 easy for us to take something that sounds super polished. 
with the super great voice on it and the super, and, you know, with no imperfection type artist and be like, okay, this is what shit is supposed to sound like when people go left and mad people like it. I think, I believe there's, there's a craft to this art. And I think some people just strike gold. Mm -hmm. I think some people just lightning. It's mm -hmm. like, holy shit, lightning in a bottle. I captured it. It's the perfect moment. It's the perfect like time. Ice spice. It's just perfect. And they are there in that moment. I don't know I don't if know. Sexy Red can stand the test. And again, I'm not knocking, like, I don't wish, and I'm not knocking her downfall. No. Like, I'm, I'm not wishing for her downfall. No, no, no. Not that. But I grew up, and I do want to shout out uh, my, my step pops, right? Because he put me on, like, real music. Like, yeah. I grew up on Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I grew up on Michael Jackson. I grew up on Prince. I grew up on um, um, the Luther Vandross. Mm -hmm. I grew like I know real music to a degree. And then if we want to take it out as just like R and B again, going back to Jadakiss. I grew up on a, a Jadakiss. Mm -hmm. I grew up on a Common. I grew up on artists. Right? Sexy Red seems like. She's just lightning in a bottle. She has a moment. We saw this with Cardi B. And again, salute to Cardi B. I have nothing against Cardi B. But I believe there's a reason why Cardi B is struggling with dropping a second album. is because I think Cardi B is so smart that she understands what it is that she did a few summers ago when she had the industry and the world in the palm of her hand because it just happened to strike at that time. So now that I know that it may not, the climate mm -hmm. may not be the same, mm -hmm. right? The demand is there, mm -hmm. but maybe I'm just not in that right headspace. Maybe the alignment of the writers that I work with, the team that I have is just not there for me where I can recapture that same moment. I don't want to drop music, right? Like, Maybe she feels that and she sees that and she's smart and she's intuitive. And that's the reason why she isn't rushing to drop is because she understands the magnitude of what that album did mm -hmm. is what I see with the people like A Sexy Red or Ice Spice. It's like they can just be a flash in a moment. It can be great, but she's this. She, there is no craft. That it, this isn't art. To me, see, I, I want to be clear. That's that's the thing. That that's subjective, bro. Because I, I did. Yeah, I said to me, yeah, yeah. I, my period no, to that I'm with sentence you. was to I'm me. With Wait, you. but did I'm you, you. Are, are you including Cardi B in the in the people that don't understand the art of it? I agree. I, I could let you get the the sexy word. Like I see what you're saying. I see what mm -hmm. you're saying. But Cardi B is also included in that. No, I think Cardi B understands it so much so that she is afraid to drop music. Okay, so basically the opposite. Okay, okay, yeah. I agree. The reason why it's hard for me to call her ass eat, because I'm I'm one of those yeah. people. I remember when Sexy Red was going viral on Twitter before all of this shit popped off. Like she had this Up Rocks um, uh, freestyle that just kept going viral. And it's the background where it's a bunch of graffiti in the background. She's wearing oh, yeah, red. Yeah, yeah. That's right? the background. It was going viral before um, the, the first hit came through, right? So to what you're saying, I didn't really understand it. Mm -hmm. But the reason why it's hard for me, because again, we know good music and I'm with you. We heard Luther, we heard Marvin Gaye. I'm not putting. Sexy Red next to Lauren Hill. I'm not putting Sexy Red next to Rhapsody, right? Like, if you are able to do something in the studio and it connect to large uh, amounts of people, it's hard for me to call you ass. Real shit. It's hard, even if I don't understand, even if it's not lyrical. Because, I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. yeah. not all rap yeah. is lyrical. I respect that. No, yeah. no, no, no. I respect her, that. Cra her crazy ass bars, clearly, I like, there's that. an audience for it. I respect that. Bro. When I went to Vegas, my booty hole brown was like the theme song of that, <laughs> of that <laughs> trip. Yeah, and you couldn't Wait, understand why. Why? 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 The why? ladies were singing it. <laughs> oh, okay. What you thought? I thought it was another reason. Oh. I thought you, were, you know. You no, you know I go on girls trips. What's up? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now why? <laughs> that's why I'm now why? Down, down. <laughs> what Alex is saying about sexy red? That's why I feel about Saweetie. But I know this is not the right audience. <laughs> that's not the right Saweetie. audience. Because I, I'm not saying yeah. she. I always say that I'm like, yo, I don't compare it to like Lauren Hill. No, she no. doesn't have like Hell the no. bars all the time. Hell but no. she has like a lot of hits that we all know. Yeah. So Does clearly she? something worked. Do you know Ooh. what my type is? <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah, that's no, my that's, type. You said hits. Name oh. another one, Reg. Reg, name another one. I see, girl. Come on. 
I do. No, tap that go? in. No, how'd that go? Tap, tap, tap in. You heard I, I know You're such a no, hater. <laughs> I, said, I know. I'm, what's the second one? You said Icy Girl? How'd that yes. go? You know how it goes. Can't go? stop, won't stop. Uh, 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 ten uh, white uh, toes uh, on the toilet uh, uh, floor. Uh, Mannequins and pedicures, I'm always on top. When I say I'm not hot, all these lines need to stop. Because I'm icy. Okay. You see? I ain't never heard that. You see? The baddies know. I'm with you. That's what I'm saying. The baddies know. 3,000 copies sold first week. I'm with you. See? You're such a hater. Hey, see? But it's sold, though. Nah, but like, the reason why I said, and I and I will, I don't want to like discuss this, but I said like this is not the right, right audience for it is because like I saw a viral tweet that was like, oh, everyone who makes fun of Saweetie's music, like she just dropped a new song, Rich Rich Tivities. Yeah. But like if you haven't heard it, that's fine, you're not the target audience. But there's like um, the cast of like Real Housewives of Atlanta, like they're all blasting in all their stories, and the the tweet was like, "See, this is a target audience. Like, right. it's not you, it's these types of women. So yeah, exactly. just not too much on Sweet. I love that. And, and I'm gonna move on. And it's you know, to all the Drake stands, I said stands, not fans. Stands are very different than fans. Stands do not listen to Logic, and they like what they like because they support who they support. Nobody mm-hmm. listens to Logic. <laughs> You're right. My fault. <laughs> he just had to get the nah, strand, somebody the listening to that nigga. There. I just don't. <laughs> I don't get it. Okay. But somebody out there, they feeling that shit. Uh, when he oh go, I'm no, 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 the, when the, he's doing all of that shit, somebody out there is the feeling su- that. The suicide song? Yeah, oh my. Where he's like, who can relate? <laughs> woo, woo. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> woo. Somebody out there said, woo, salute. But I know this is a sad time for you guys. I'm a Drake fan. That's the difference between me and Drake stands. I'm a Drake fan because I enjoy his music. Let's hug it out. It is okay. <laughs> Bring it in. Bring it in. Me Bring and the J. Cole fans. This, this isn't the hell y'all have to die on if people <laughs> don't love the sexy red Drake song. I promise you, we love you. Bring it in. I know it's been hard to cope. Just bring it in. Love Just, his hair. Love his hair. Love his we hair. love you. It's an open community. You don't got to be stupid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bring it in. Wait, I, got, like, I got another one for you. Mm-hmm. I got oh, another shit. one for another you. Another reference track? I got another one for you. Oh, shit. We the best music. Oh, well, we... Yeah. Another one. Well, well yeah. Because <laughs> when I heard this, I'm like, well, you wait, know. how DJ Khaled get this? Well, you know. But I felt them. Oh. Uh, me. Yeah. Fire. Hey. Hey. Wait. Mm-hmm. Who is this? Shady, shady. Drake. That sounds like Drake. Yeah, it's Drake. So, I'm so what's sorry. the reference track? I'm so sorry. Let me bring this. Let me bring this back a little bit. Okay. Cause I'm like, wait, now nah, he's on it. Nah, you're right. You mm-hmm. know what? This is this is it. Okay. Who is it? Oz. The <laughs> the writer's name is Oz. Damn. <laughs> Yo, wait. Wow. And then now uh, this is Drake. DJ Khaled. Hey. This the one that it, this the one that I was like, okay, this makes sense. Khaled? It makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense why he gives Khaled the throwaways, cause the throwaways is the shit that niggas write for me. So I'ma just give it to my man, cause niggas don't really give a fuck. I'm me. So Khaled, yo, you know what Khaled said? If Drake's likes it, I like it. I, I like, like it. it. I like what Drake like. I like what Drake like. That's what he said. So let me, like, I get it. I understand. <laughs> like I said, PSA, PSA <laughs> to all the Drake fans, all the Drake stands. We get it. We are not, I, personally, let me speak for we me. We are Drake fans. I am not against you. I am with you. Yes, bring it in. <laughs> but I also grew up in New York. Embrace us. And it's okay. growing up in New York, I understand the criteria <laughs> of what it is to be the best rapper in this shit. I get it. This type of evidence, it you also, you are disqualified. Also, I, this okay. Yeah. I literally I yeah. literally just remembered this as we we're talking about this. I should have brought this up earlier, but you know, um, who do you love by YG? Who do you, who do you love? love? Yeah, you know how Drake is Drake is featured on that. Yeah, and for it came out a long time ago, so I was like, I've always just kept in my mind like this is one of Drake's best guest features ever. It really? was like, um, I got a shorty named Texas Sin. She got a buddy named Young JB. And now you know no the deal. deal. That that verse, yeah. I will pinky swear about my pinky ring too big. Right. I was like, I love that verse. And then I just saw on Twitter the other day, he copied that whole verse. Like, and people have pointed this out and he has said like, oh, like, I was paying tribute to that verse. Like it was like some mm-hmm. some I don't, oh my god, I don't oh, want to mess up. Yeah, 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 I, remember I don't that. want to mess up the person, but it's it's out there. This is like a known yeah. thing and he has been like, "No, I was just paying tribute to it." But he literally stole the whole flow, all the lyrics. So it's like he just like he does this. He he's It just clicked for me right yeah. now. I'm like, does he just does he, he really he really copies people? I will like, say the one time where I've defended him in that matter, like for it's those types of scenarios. If you go on if you're going to show homage to somebody that's really popular. Give credit. Like if I, yeah. See, the give credit thing don't mean nothing to me, Pierre. We spoke about this, right? Because uh, again, yeah, for right. the you're for right. the people that know music, mm-hmm. they heard it. But to y'all's point, 
I mm-hmm. could see how it could maybe be deceptive to some other people. I could see if you like yeah. if you flipped a line, like right. a reference, like a like a callback to a popular song. But no, it was like the whole verse, and people oh, were it was like, the whole, it wasn't it just was a, whole, a part of it. No, it was the whole flow, like the whole verse. <laughs> I, and all. You stole I, my I, shit, ball from ball, word from word. Literally, <laughs> no. I remember listening to this like a few days ago. I was like, whoa. And then wow. people were like, oh, he sampled the verse. I'm like, how, how do you sample a verse? Because like, I've heard Jay Z do that with Biggie. Yeah, but like right. I, I understand, yeah, like you you right. re- recall a line, and, right, right. and it's okay. like a reference. It's like, oh, did you guys get that reference? But it's like, yeah. no, no. Like I wish I had it to pull up, but got you, got it's you. out there. Got you, like a full copy and paste. So type maybe thing. he just okay. really be stealing people's flow. But like, I do know one thing, no. Bitches, when they, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, yeah, Monday. Monday, Monday through Sunday. Everybody Sunday, heard that on Chicago Freestyle. <laughs> yeah, Marshall Mathers. Not realizing that's Superman from Eminem. Yep. <laughs> So he does do callbacks. He does, he does yeah, that's a good one. I recycle bars. He does. Like he does it often. He's a chameleon. I think he is an actor, which we got introduced. A lot of people got introduced to Drake through Degrassi. That's a good point. And I personally feel like this Drake character is just a character. And he's not, he hasn't done the due diligence of what it is. I think he is, I don't even want to say cosplaying. Um, what what's the term? When an actor takes their character and they live through that character, method, method actor. He's a method actor. Thanks. Yeah, he's a method actor. Drake is a fucking <sighs> method actor. Wow. And maybe and a like rapper the rapper is the role. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe in like his true self, he knows he's just playing a role. So that's why in his day to day, like he's fine. Like he's like, yo, yeah. I I know to the world yeah. I'm Drake, but like yeah. to me I'm Aubrey. Like I'm fine. Because I think people who really are about this shit, and I I, I want to say Kendrick is one of those ones. Yeah. And again. We're a New York podcast, so anybody who's listening at any other part of the world, whether it be the West Coast, whether it be another country, down south, wherever, yeah. Jada Kiss for me is the barometer for like a rapper's rapper. I know there's plenty of others. Top five, I, get I know allowed. there's plenty of others. I have to preface that with that is for me. Mm-hmm. If Jada Kiss were to be associated with any of the things that Drake has been tied to, yeah. It erases his legacy. The same way that Diddy erased his legacy with that Cassie video. Mm-hmm. If a reference track for Jada Kiss, why? Mm-hmm. If a reference track for all like mm-hmm. anything, money, power, respect, anything. We're if gonna I heard find, yo, we'll we'll anybody, alive. and I know for a fact I would die on this hill. I would I would literally put my life on <laughs> the line to say that there is not a single reference track for somebody like a Jada Kiss Impossible. to be in this situation. That is why I hold this situation in this regard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that is the ilk of being the best rapper. rapper yeah. Absolutely. You have to be rapping. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Yo, if that <laughs> ever happens, we're going to just find Savon on, cr- on the position. floor. Feet position all of us. on the floor. All of us. Bro, all of us. What the fuck? I don't know what would make me do that. Because I, no I don't idea. know. Cole releases Grippy, <laughs> but, ver- Grippy version. I'm fine. And that's grippy, my, that's my grippy goat. Grippy is disgusting. Grippy. <laughs> but I'm glad you brought, the, brought up that comparison. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad Savon brought up that comparison because. Maybe if you put it on another person's feet, the, the, these shoes that we're talking about, then fans or stands could start to understand like, yo, bro, I know it might feel like it's a 20 V1 and the world is against him and there's a meme about him every single day. Mm-hmm. But this would go the same way for somebody who is very lyrical. Like, I'm sure Pusha T fans would cry. That yeah. would be insane yeah. if there was a re- if there was a reference track for Pusha T. I don't, there, there's, that. there's no fucking way. Imagine that, right? I don't, I, I don't my, know. my thing though is, this is customary to uh, like the industry standard, right? Where like most people, every artist has a reference track, right? Not every artist, but a, lo- a lot of people. See, reference tracks are usually used in the pop music space, uh, mm-hmm. R&B space, right? I don't like, think rap reference yeah. tracks are a thing. Like they're sort right? of a thing, but they shouldn't be. That's the thing, right? Everybody <laughs> yeah. always- That's just, the point. Yeah, that's, that's the point, right? Like you're kind of taught to like come with making. your own rhymes, right? But the moment when you get to pop star level, right? Mm-hmm. Now it's different producers in the room. It's different mm-hmm. writers in reference the room. Reference tracks are extremely common. Very yeah. common. Like, like very you, common. When you guys said I think of uh, Cisco and right. Um, Beyonce. Right? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And yeah. like, you know, a bunch of different artists. But I just kind of find it weird how like, you know, now that it's it's knowledge, common knowledge that Drake pretty much took people other people's cadences to make his own yeah. that like kind of we're honing in on we're honing in on, oh, he did this, he did this mm-hmm. when it's like customary. Customary again, not for rappers, P. I want to be clear. For, okay, so let yeah. me let me ask you this. Yeah. Uh do so nowadays most rappers don't really go off the top of the dome? The most rappers nowadays will either lie that they wrote it. Or that they punched in, but it's it's a stain on your jacket if, as a rapper, you're giving reference tracks. Again, when it comes to Beyonce, we, we said it just now, right? Mm-hmm. Drake wrote Heated for Beyonce. Yeah. No one will ever have an issue with that. 
in that space, in that lens, that's accepted. That's what's done. Rap has always been, yo, these are my bar sport, right? Okay. It's Even different t- for rappers, yeah. for sure. Even to the point where, where like, um, if a rapper has ever heard, like, yo, that so-and-so stole my bars, like, the, the pride that they have over their words mm-hmm. has always been very big and important to their them. Their story. Yeah, their story. The, the yeah. words, the story, Absolutely. the relatability, all of that. Absolutely. Um, and the pop space is a little different. Yeah. Like, who cares? I don't know if y'all saw this clip, <laughs> Yeah, but it, wait, what'd you say? He's no, like, I said, who cares about pop music? He got, it, like, got it, got it, got it, got yeah. it. I don't know if y'all, y'all saw this clip, um, but it also made me kind of think of an artist like a Drake who maybe last year, I think a lot of his fans started to say to themselves, why is Drake always on tour? <laughs> yeah. Right? Because it is kind of odd. So well, Hasn't that just been the last like year or two or even before that? Maybe about the last year or two, yeah. but even, even so, when you actually think about it, Drake has been on tour since I was in college. <laughs> not gonna lie to you. He took a break. Did has he, he took a break? Yeah. I don't know. He took a break. Yeah. But it sounds good. I remember the real big tour he was on before he took a break was the one with the Migos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the three amigos. Three amigos. Yeah, I remember that one. Then he took a break for a second. Yeah. But I do want to give a shout out to John Bellion. Hey. Um, he's an artist mm-hmm. and he was on a podcast recently. Giving it up. And he explained what his deal uh, uh, was when it came to his music, his record label, oh, the I splits, saw this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and all of that. So mm-hmm. this clip, it is a two minute clip. If y'all ever want to stop, let me know when y'all want to stop. But I do kind of want to play this for. The full scope of what it is. I got to a place in my career, we sold out 10,000 people at Jones Beach. I mean, it was like the height of everything for me. And it was right around the time I figured out how my Live Nation contract worked. And it was right around the time I figured out how my record deal actually worked. And how did that make you feel? It was like panic attacks. It was like, oh my gosh, if A plus B equals C, I'm never going to pay this back. I'm going to be on the road 11 months a year just trying to pay back. Live Nation, they're getting everybody coming 12 ways, 12 times a Tuesday. Are you with Live Nation? No, I paid myself out of the deal. And Mm -hmm. I had to pay 25% extra on what they advanced me. So just the stop right there live nation anytime you've gone to a concert to see your favorite artist nine out of ten times live nation has been the a company partner. the partner they have been a part of that concert yeah um in conjunction with that venue when you figure that out on the road and you're thinking man why did we buy 300 rolls of toilet paper why do we have to spend this much on catering every day wait a second what in my contract it says because it's not their money you gotta spend this much on catering and it comes out of my pocket yeah but then i have to pay an advance back and by the way the advance that you have to give me is only on hard ticket sales so the concept called peanuts parking and alcohol when i sell out ten thousand people at jones beach the person who buys a 20 dollar hot dog i don't see a dime of that the person who buys 40 dollars for parking i don't see a dime of that and the person who buys $20 vodka and Red Bull I don't see a dime of that and then you advance me a million dollars and tell me I'm rich to then find out that you're making four million dollars a night it takes me 36 shows to pay back the one million dollar you advance me it's a loan it's a it's fake a, loan it's a fake loan that it's like we're gonna give you a loan so you can make our money off of your creation and then it hit me oh my gosh they own all the venues it's a monopoly so then now they just want my body in this room so they can sell food and alcohol speaking of that um I just want to say you know during the day my nine to five i'm a journalist so last week i wrote an article but uh, reporting that the department of justice actually plans to sue live nation and break up the ties that they have with Ticketmaster because they're like i guess they started this investigation like two years ago Mm. and then now they have enough of them illegal allegedly illegally maintaining a monopoly in the live entertainment industry and this basically goes right in hand with what he's saying he's like they control everything so like no one else even has a chance to like make money off of this type of live entertainment stuff because they own every like every venue that um you will plan your tour around like they own it the ticket master you can only buy through ticket master so it like upskit like uh raises every price so it's just like getting too crazy and the depart it's the Bar- department of justice so it's very official guys so we yeah. might we might we might be up right now yeah it's, it sounds like a true monopoly yeah yep yeah I'm gonna make tons of money and then they got me like schlepping around the united states talking about i want to be famous so when you figure that out joe schmo pays 20 dollars for a hot dog and i don't see that and if i'm only making my advance back on hard ticket sales that means i have to sell out every single venue in order to not go in the red because i'm only paying my advance back on hard ticket sales and by the way they reserve the right in the contract to put the tickets on sale so when when it's $100 a ticket and they do their summer blowout sale, the tickets are only $10. So instead of me paying back $90 a ticket, right before I just go on tour, the they drop a John Bellion sale and the tickets are only $10. Wait, they lit- li- Live Nation literally <laughs> just did that. Like literally in the beginning of May. They did yeah. a blowout sale for yeah. like a lot of... Whoa. True Monopoly. Okay. See, I don't know if this affects Drake though, because I don't know if... 
Live Nation and Universal, I don't know if Universal allows for Live Nation to treat Drake the same as everyone else. When it comes to the tickets? When it comes to everything. I don't know if it applies to Drake, right. but I know it applies to a Meg Thee Stallion. Oh, yeah. And I think Drake is in his own stratosphere. I think it's Drake. I think it's Beyonce. Mm-hmm. I think it's Bad Bunny. Mm-hmm. I think it's Taylor Swift. I think Heavy that weights. is the the Mount Rushmore of today's climate. Who of, I kind of can have a say. Yeah. yeah. I think those four are the outliers to the rest of the music industry. The weekend. But then I think, and and honestly, I don't know. Maybe I got to get a little bit more familiar with The weekend. Yeah. But those are the four where I'm like, they can dictate everything from yeah. what it is that they want to do, how they want it to look, where they want to perform, whatever. Right. I think everybody else is held to this. The Meg Thee Stallions, the Cardi B's, 21 Savages, the Lil this Babies, cycle. the Gunners. Mm-hmm. I think they are slaves. <laughs> to this system. Yeah. Yeah, people have been saying this about their record deals all the time. Mm -hmm. Now, there are venues that are separate from Live Nation, but it's like, is it what you're looking for? Mm -hmm. Does it have the space? Does it have the capacity? Does it just have- Or the production, like, can they, do they know how to do these shows? There you go. How's the production value on that side? So it's like, they know what they got to do, but you're right. Those heavyweights don't got to deal with that shit. Reggie, how did that article come across your desk? Um, well, the way it goes, like, in the morning, like, just a- on a day to day, like you have to see like what news is trending, what news is breaking. Sometimes I get things in my email, like press releases and stuff like that. And then you have to decide like what fits well with the site that day. Mm. Got it. And so that, it was, was, that was like, I thought it was a good story. So I wrote it up. Got it. No, I think it's a phenomenal story because I think a lot of people, and one of the things that he said is, hey, I'm famous, but I still get to, you know, sell out these venues. Yeah. But if you really think about it, but and if you really do the money. science, right? If you really do the science, <laughs> mm-hmm. Nobody would be purchasing a $20 hot dog in that venue if the artist wasn't there that night. Need the yeah. artist. For sure. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And the merch need and all artists. that shit. Trust me, I've been to Jones Beach by myself when ain't the artist there. Ain't, yeah, they need them niggas to sell them hot dogs. <laughs> I think, I think it's abandoned. My... I think it's abandoned. Yeah. I think the yeah. venue that he's talking about, and shout out to him, because Alex and I are yeah. very close proximity Jones to Beach Jones Theater. Beach Theater. Yeah, man. Like, Seen Lil Wayne and a lot of niggas over there. I saw Chris Brown there. Yeah, yeah. I saw yeah. the Migos there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. that theater in particular, mm-hmm. nobody they don't have foot traffic. There nah. isn't anything else there that you can go to they to don't make fix money. Seats. They don't fix <laughs> there's no VIP section. Ain't no VIP. <laughs> <laughs> it's just bullshit. VIP is your eyesight. How flies your eyesight? eyesight? <laughs> how well can you see? That's your VIP. How, how well that's you, hilarious. You get the same show you get in the front row, you get on that on the top row. How well is your vision? It sounds it sounds decrepit. <laughs> you get oh, what I'm de- de- like, Decrepit. Shit was these... yo, what's that shit in Rome? <laughs> the dome. The dome, it's right? The dome. Damn, it's the Coliseum, just, right? Yo, it's, it's, just, a Coliseum. it's just bleachers yeah. and a stage. I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> literally all it is. Like a high school, like the Coliseum. <laughs> so for that venue in particular that yeah. John Bellion referenced, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like you aren't getting anybody to pay $20 for a beer. If the artist is not there, and you know what it took for me to go there, and I live 15 minutes away, 20 minutes away? Oh, wow. It took Chris Brown to be there. <laughs> for you it, to actually go you there. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It takes one of them ones to yeah. get me to go there. Yeah. So the fact that these artists aren't eating off of every single aspect of this event is a travesty. And mm-hmm. it speaks it to, is. I don't even know if it's greed. I think it's an outdated system. I always like yep. to talk about this. This is one of those things, again, going back to my therapy sessions, I believe in updating your software. Mm. Not just your phone, not just your laptop, not just your iPad, but also you as a human, you need to update your software. I think parenting, as a parent, as a friend, as a husband, as a wife, as a boyfriend, as a girlfriend, everything in life requires you to be to keep up with the times. That therapy grow. worth it, boy. To, to grow. grow. That therapy worth it. You know what I'm saying? Amen. <laughs> no, legit. Come on, Like, now. you need to be able to Come update on, your software. That's good. Yeah. And the music yeah. industry, clearly, based on what he just said in that clip, is not updating. they aren't updating their the software, software because <laughs> they it benefits them. It doesn't benefit yep. me to say, hey, you know what, Chris Brown... You are doing amazing as an artist. You are out here. You are selling out venues. You know, everybody can't do what it is that you do. So we're going to give you a piece of every single hot dog that we sell. We're going to give you a piece of every single parking spot that you sell out because there is no parking without you. There is no hot dog being sold without you. You are the So we're going to give you a piece, right? Instead, the outdated way of thinking is 
they think it's them. They think, oh, I'm the reason that you are here, so I'm going to take everything and you get a small piece. That's why I wish I would have seen what like America would look like if there was no capitalism. Really? Yeah, because these are things that I constantly think about. And it always comes down to the same common themes, right? Like these industries that have committed the same practices are just copying our government. Bro, why is it so deep for us to have a, make amendments on the Constitution? Hmm. Something that was created in fucking 1800s, mm-hmm. they act like it's such a big deal. Like, to we touch don't, it. don't we have to? Right. Like, yes. it, as the times are going on, I think industries like the music industry, film, just, just mimic it. Everything. Just that's, mimic that, it. That's kind of, like, no, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. no, you're fine. I'm going. Yeah. That, that's kind of what uh, Terrence Howard was saying. Yeah. About <laughs> how, like, some of the math, the archaic, quote unquote, math that, you know, people of old years did. Or one used. plus one is old. Well, no, when he, when he was talking about the triangles, it was just an outdated system because yeah. he was basically saying no, there's nowhere in the universe that straight lines are formed. But, you know, to what you were saying, you're right. Like, yeah. like just imagine if we didn't live in a capitalistic country, how different. Like, let's be progressive. Be. Just imagine. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, but again, capitalism runs everyone subconsciously. Mm-hmm. Every business, every person. You don't even realize that capitalism that is fucking you up. Though, I ain't gonna lie. There you go. You see? I ain't gonna lie. There you go. That's that American shit. It, nah, nah. That's what let, we do. But hear me out. Though. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. If the capitalism hit for real, yeah. you could get to some shit. That's the problem. That Stay right there. That is the trick they tell all of us. So now we try to do that to get to that place while hurting others and letting mm-hmm. others not go forward. Savon's trying to be it's in the one percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's fine though too. I think anybody should want to be in the one percent of anything, right? That means like you have separated yourself. It's just at what cost? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like with capitalism, there are losers. Mm-hmm. Somebody mm-hmm. has to lose. Like you can't be a billionaire yeah. without taking advantage of people. It's impossible. Yeah, it's literally impossible. You have to go take to get to that status and get more. But that's why I, yeah. I don't understand when people like be mm-hmm. bigging up mm-hmm. Oven B. What you mean? <gasps> I mean, they're products of capitalism. They are. Mm-hmm. We love them. No, for sure. We love them, but they are absolutely capi- uh, All products of that. Yeah. All of OD. it. And, OD. and unfortunately, the society, the government that yeah. we live in, like you have to, it's, it's one of those things where it's you either adjust or you die. Mm-hmm. It's either yeah. you conform or you die. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that, that, like it breeds. Right. that system mm-hmm. you are like when you're born into it mm-hmm. you almost have no choice and like that's like, why i want to commend some of the outliers mm-hmm. like the first billionaire that i could think of is mark cuban Shout to mark. mark cuban he has made an effort to make pharmaceutical drugs and right. things that can change people's lives mm-hmm. a lot cheaper than market price because he has the funds to do so he has the funds to do so and and also to some degree it has to be in his heart you know, to some degree, I don't, I don't know, right? Like he's still a billionaire, so maybe he had to do some unconventional ways to get there. But I think once you get to a certain point, you can always look down and pull people up. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know True. what I'm saying. Yeah, and, yeah. and that's the opposite of capitalism. Capitalism mm-hmm. is acquire, acquire, attain, there attain. You go. There you go. And 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 now, at the benefit of myself and right. at the cost of other people. Now the Live Nation and the labels point. Imagine if venues and record labels actually cared about music. And not the bottom line or where they have to make deductions or who they have to fire or cut or this and that. But once they revolve, like, yeah, the business itself is entertaining and fun, Mm -hmm. but damn, yo, they don't care about it. The most important thing Mm -hmm. is the money, which affects how the artists get treated. And it's been like this forever. I remember like Prince was really Mm -hmm. big on like telling people how evil labels are. So like this has been going on for (laughs) decades and decades. And like, I just feel like it's the country being an artist, like what we were just talking about capitalism, like we just have to. Um, like follow the system or else we're gonna like we can't survive so you if you want to be an artist you can try to be like the independent route but it's like a lot of people do want the help of the labels even though we know how evil it is so it's just this like system of like yo slope. if I want to be a successful artist like what am I supposed to do like yeah. you know yeah. because the labels they, they, they it's a placebo effect mm. they mm-hmm. say I'm going to give you a million dollars they know for most people in, in in any community, I don't even want to just make this a black thing. I want to make most this people. a middle class thing. I want to make this a lower class thing. A million dollars is the bar for success. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. That is just what it is. Not eight hundred thousand. I'm in my first mill. Not six hundred and fifty thousand. Which is stupid because once you spend a dollar, nigga, that ain't a milli. Not four hundred and fifty thousand. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Not two million. Yeah. One million dollars. Like you just want to get there. Is the bar for most people mm -hmm. that do not come from success or wealth or money. Mm -hmm. And what the labels do is they will literally give you, or what the people in, in power do, they will say, I will make you a millionaire by giving you $1 million. Mm -hmm. So they have to sign their life away like, so when they see that. Yeah. You feel, mm -hmm. as somebody who grew up in struggle, as somebody who grew up without resources, as somebody who may have a family that you love, you feel obligated mm. to take that $1 million yeah. because that is the golden <laughs> ticket out yep. of your circumstances. It's yeah. very predatory. OD. But it's a trap. It's a yep. trap. It's a trap. The same trap that Kendrick laid for Drake is what these <laughs> record labels do to these artists yeah. and these people and these creatives. Because, and I hate to empathize with millionaires, but I'm going to empathize with millionaires because that's not normally who I am typically. Right. But the NBA players, right? I just heard Draymond Green say on the podcast recently, that he feels, and also Glenn Baby Davis, um, and and, Damn, other, and other other NBA players as well. But I hear yeah. athletes in general just say, "Hey, these leagues, and let's keep it on the NBA. The NBA doesn't put us in a position to be wealthy after we retire. First world problems." And when I hear that, I'm like, Thanks. "Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> Are you fucking insane?" Because they do so much outside of basketball, like the endorsement deals, the yeah. different brands that they're associated with. It's the, like, yeah. the, absorb, the absorbent amounts of money that they see, most people will never get to see in one lifetime, and I think, or I, two lifetimes. True, and I think the other thing that, that we often sometimes don't think of is like, "Hey, the more I, the more I make, is the more I spend." So no. my living habits yes. increase oh yeah. my God. to that point of, "Hey, once I'm done playing." Can I still maintain this lifestyle kind of thing? It's like, it's not even like being irresponsible. Like I literally just talked about this with someone like mm -hmm. in depth. Like it was such an interesting conversation. Like me, like as I'm progressing my career, obviously like this year I'm making the most money I've made. Come on, but big like, shout out to you. Let's go. Uh, no, 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 yeah, because, no, because it's like, right? I, like uh. all of a sudden now I'm also spending, so I, like not all of it, but like, a good portion of it. I'm not saving um like the dope. the increase that are like like the increase mm -hmm. because it's it's not even me being stupid either. It's the bills now, it's yeah. things that I'm helping my family the out lifestyle. with. Because yeah. like I'm like, oh I'm making more like I will take on this responsibility. So now like yeah, like exactly what Pierre said. I was just realizing that I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is a trap. <laughs> so when I got empathetic <laughs> with the athletes is because when I hear them talk about hey I made 150 million dollars and it's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, how dare you even speak that? Like, do you forget? Like, I had to talk to my brother about it. My brother was like, yo, do they forget where they come from? Like, y'all niggas is game. broke. <laughs> y'all was pop. Y'all niggas are <laughs> y'all was pop. Niggas it was ramen noodle every bro night. Broke. So the fact that High you blood can pressure in your household get to a level Dude. where you almost forget what that privilege is, and for you to say people aren't doing enough for you, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Because you've made $150 million in a contract. Yeah. But then when they break it down, and I understand that breakdown, because again, we're climbing this ladder of being creatives and being independent and, and having taxes and accountants and staff and you know help and partners and all those things that come with it, right? So yeah. when you take $100 million, that $100 million for somebody may not only really... It may be $30 million, yeah. right? For the actual athlete. But still, even $30 million is more than enough. Right. But what I think the message is, is that we aren't being taught how to manage it. Mm -hmm. We aren't being taught how to invest it. We mm -hmm. aren't being taught how to properly allocate it when it comes to our taxes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if everyone's would either got to experience high levels of money, I think there would be more of an understanding on what to do with it. Yep. Right, because a lot of the times when you land on some big money, nine times out of ten, maybe the people around you have never seen that as well. Yeah, you're the first one. Right, you're the first mm -hmm. one. So it's like, duh, I don't know. I definitely don't know what the fuck to do with it with this. Yeah, which is kind of um how I feel about with the capitalism thing too. Because I heard someone make a point like they felt, and I don't agree with this. I don't stand by this, but they feel like athletes shouldn't make as much money as they do because it creates such a divide 
in the pay scale. And I was like, whoa, okay, well, not just the athletes. And if you want to do that, it got to be everybody. It got to be everybody that comes from making 30, 40 million dollars a year, which is, again, unfair. But at the same token, it's like this, that's the reason why there's such a divide. Yeah. It's only X amount of people who know what to do when right. they get X amount of funds. Right. It's yeah. tough. And like, if you're, if you're associated with people, I always say, if you're associated with people who have money, the best thing you can do for yourself and for the person who has money is try to come up with different ways that you can help them increase their money. Mm. You know what I mean? So don't look at you as like a liability, something yeah. like that, or a uh, muncher. Yeah. Because yeah. everybody who has, who makes a lot of money has a lot of friends and just like the upkeep, keeping up with the Joneses with stuff and like mm-hmm. family doesn't really know how to like, you know, um, react to you having money, so on and so forth. So I think doing something like that would definitely help out the whole situation as a whole. Yeah. I think... I'm trying to think in my head right now, if I won like a million dollars or something, would I be smart with it? You'd be so smart. I feel like I would. Are live, you joking? Like, cause... No, no, we live, we, live, <laughs> we live between our means. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm very good at yeah. living. I feel like I, I love my life because like I know how to live within my means, but I still mm-hmm. know how to treat myself. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I do. And I'm not like frivolous with my money. Like I don't spend on stupid shit, but I spend on like convenient things. <laughs> but yeah. if I had a million, I don't know. Nah, but, cause I, you gotta I, get a, a little like, and I ain't gonna lie to you, like a little stupid. you, you, you close proximity to like hip hop and shit. You gotta have a little nigga in you, money. <laughs> what? No, she what doesn't. Way? What the fuck? What do you mean by that? Here? No, she don't. She know a yeah, nigga. what did she? What did she mean nah, by that? You know she what a little nigga no, she. I don't. You know. I don't even know what he nah. mean by that. Oh, you know, he wants you to go buy like an AMG or something. He wants you to go buy a Range Rover. I mean, with a million dollars, I could do that. He wants to say a little nigga. Oh no, but I feel like that would be a big chunk of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I think my downfall would be what Pierre was literally just kind of uh, including in his answer. I think like the main goal, I feel like all of us can relate, would be to help our family. But oh, yeah. then that kind of like the domino effect is so quick. Yeah. You know so what? I don't know. My, my, my favorite basketball player of all time is Tracy McGrady. T-Mac. Oh my gosh, really? Facts. Well, T Max, my favorite player of all time. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm doing this new thing where I'm telling everybody that my favorite basketball player of all time. <laughs> Why are you laughing already? I didn't even say anything. Wait, guess. Kobe Bryant, Kyrie Irving. Fuck. Those are really good Those guesses. Are good ones, right? I appreciate it. Guys. I'm Brown. telling everybody that it's Vince Carter. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey, I respect it. Yeah. I get it. Well, we'll see. Jersey. It's, it's believable. And that's right? T-Max cousin. That's T-Max that's cousin. T-Max no, cousin. Oh, yeah. They're cousins. Yeah. Yeah. No, Sorry. because I'm, I'm going to be like, yo, I remember going to the Continental Arena no. when, when he was on the Nets, <laughs> which is not a lie, hey, but I'm going to I'm gonna just say a lot nah. from now on. He was a hooper for <laughs> New Jersey. And he was born. Him and J.K. And he had no hair. The dunk contest. And he was like, Follically challenged. <coughs> okay, I'm loving this. Nah. <laughs> I'm loving this. But I nah. feel like this answer is going to work. It, yeah, Thanks, guys. It, it yeah. work. For workshopping DC it with me. DC is dope. But okay, what you said, T-Max. Oh, yeah, one of the things about <laughs> Trace, Trace McGrady is once he started getting real money, yeah. he told his family. He gave like certain family members a chunk of money. I, I don't know the amount. I, I'm going to say it was maybe 100000 50000 whatever the case may be. He gave the close relatives in his life a chunk of money. And he said... Do not say I've never helped you. Oh, like this but he was is like it. that's it. This is it. One time hit. And, One time hit. And look, I'm not. I, I don't know I his know. relationship with these people, but I know it's been documented that he said, "Hey, the people in my life that I love, that I care about. Once I got my money, I gave them enough money to where they should be able to navigate that for a very long time." Right. Yeah. Kind of like Marshawn Lynch. Mm. He did the same. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know he did. He, I didn't know he, that. He, uh, so the story of Marshawn, real quick, I didn't mean to interrupt yeah, you, go, Stephon. Go crazy. Uh, Marshawn Lynch, uh, it's reported that he never spent any money that he made playing football. The, all the money he spent was all of his endorsements, Endorsement. TV stuff. Yeah, Jason and, Tatum's doing the same thing right yep, now. Yeah, yep, yep. So that's like a smart way to do stuff. And he has stores. I think he has a Beast Mode store. He's got like different food um, stores that he's, um, mm-hmm. you know, uh, built and employed his family members in it to run it. Uh, gotcha. Good so he's job. like doing well with his money, yeah, yeah. like so managing it. It's okay. just one of those things going back to like what it is that you were saying already is like, all right, cool. I do want to help people, but there is a certain limit. There is a certain way to go about helping people to where you can say, you know what? I've done enough. And maybe that's just been a me thing. Like where I'm like, yo, I've done enough in mm-hmm. whatever category it is in life. Mm-hmm. But T-Mac, he said, hey, I gave people that I love a certain amount of money. And this should, it. this, yeah, pretty much like this should yeah. do it for you. No matter how much yeah. money I make, I'm gonna give you <laughs> an real. absorbent That's amount fine. of money. Not even f- uh, family though, but and like friends. I have so many friends. They broke. I'm joking. <laughs> Don't answer if that. I, I'm I, joking. I was joking. I can, I can answer that. 
they're, they're, they're not wrong. But if I had a million, I'm clearly the rich friend. So like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I would, I would de- even me now. Like I'm, yeah. I don't make like mad money, but I make yeah. you know like a How certain. Does it and feel? I literally. <laughs> Oh my god! How but I just feel? wanted to know. I wanted to explain. Like I even see myself now, like yeah. paying for a lot of things with my mm-hmm. friends. Like I always get the Uber. I always get the drinks. Like stuff like that. So if I had a million dollars, like I would. Now oh let's god. talk. Now let's talk. Let's let's yeah. pretend the cameras are off. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> like all of us. Yeah, yeah. I know we started this pod saying, "Hey, we're nine to fivers." Yeah. And we are. We definitely. We are. really are. I promise you, we didn't lie. <laughs> but, I just came back from my shit. But <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we doing well. So how does it feel? <laughs> how does it feel? To be the rich friend. <laughs> to be the rich friend. Nah. I like I don't know if I'm the rich friend. I'm not the rich friend. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the rich friend. Like, now nah, the people around me get money, bro. I said I'm, if I want to I said if I got a million, I would be the rich friend. Yeah, I'm not a million is where this changes. Thank I'm you. Yeah. I'm the broke friend. Yeah. Whoa. I'm the broke friend. Yeah. Uh, allegedly. I'm the broke friend. It feels good to be able to save a significant amount. Hmm? Bro. Allergy. I'm being dead ass. You I don't believe you're it. the broke friend. Oh, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just like them. <laughs> okay, I take that back because <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like them. Whatever that means. You know I take that saying? back because, like, even though we're joking, I don't like talking about myself like that yeah, because that, that manifests. Me so nah. But Savon is sitting there because he knows that he's a rich friend. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't even see it like that. What you just get? It's because what happened, Pete? Nah, somebody just got a, a new car. Uh, matter of fact, never mind. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, 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 go ahead. Oh, and it's cool. Oh, Great. Oh, oh, oh. Go ahead, oh, Alex. My fault. I didn't no. mean to interrupt. Nah, what <laughs> happened? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, like, I'm the friend in entertainment. So, okay. what does that what mean? What that means is I give all the homies. <laughs> My home Entertainment. Girls. Entertainment. <laughs> Real talk. So this is what I do, right? What do you mean by that? I'm gonna let you know right now. They know. They can they can vouch for me right now. If I know you, if I got a little love for you and you cool, you're not a widow, you're gonna get all the access to all my streaming services. Pierre, what up? Yeah. Pierre, what up? What's good? Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm lying? Nah, you're right. <laughs> You gave me, you gave me you, nah, you gave me the password to what was it? That's yeah. just my character. That's my body. Oh my god, he made him say it. That's my man nah, right there. He know the witness. So nah. now what he I said, do he is said, I'm wrong. No, yeah, you're, no, you're right. Now. I'm the friend where it's like, all right, cool. I'ma just show up in ways yeah. where you y'all always eat, but it's not like I'm sunning you. Cause that's mm. when I get to I'm sunning you energy. We're not yeah, friends anymore. Yeah, this shit is weird. Yeah, yeah it's like oh, what where you're like taking care of. Yeah, your shit? like you sunning him. Like oh yeah. yeah. Especially as men, like you don't really do that. Sunning you is different. Again, I think. What it is, because you said you work in entertainment. Yeah. Entertainment, and this is the beauty of it. <laughs> I know we just talked about a lot of the curses, right? Yeah. Like some of the, the slave deals that people sign. The beauty of entertainment is that the sky is truly the limit. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, we could go back to the top of this podcast. We don't have to disclose the amount or anything like that. But the fact that we're able to say, hey, guys, you know, we're doing well this month. Right? It varies, too, because sometimes we fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like that it was yeah. a learning process, guys. <laughs> learning curve, learning curve. Well, hold on, niggas do hey. be fucked up. Hello, hello. Thanks. But there's also Gotta highlight that. The, the 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 light at the end of the tunnel where you know it can be, you know, something what? that people can't even imagine. Speaking of that, perfect little thing I want to mention. We're podcasting, you know, we're a few years into it. Uh, one of my favorite podcasts, Shits and Gigs, they sold out an arena. I've arena heard about in that. the UK. So just when Savon was saying, like, yo, the, sky, the sky's the limit, even for podcasts too, like, they literally threw, like, basically a concert. They did, like, um, like song battles. They did talent content. Like, it was lit. So wow. that could be us, guys. So it's selling out an arena, by the way. Shout Let's out to, it. like, Shits and Gigs, bro. Nah, mm-hmm. OD, bro. Yes. Yeah, the bro. Nah. Them. Any, any podcast the led by men. That have a majority women fan base must be saluted. <laughs> now we love y'all niggas too, but <laughs> <laughs> but but hey, tell one of your sexy homegirls to tap in too. Yeah, now. we trying to get it up. We looking at the they ratio. Love Savon and Alex. Come on now, we looking at the numbers. We seeing what's going on. There's a disproportion. <laughs> now yes, they love you too. Yeah, they love oh, you yes, too. Oh yes, I already know that. Though. Yeah, they love you yeah, too. Don't don't forget that now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will yeah, say though, yeah. the women listeners that we do have are very like loyal listeners. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, they're great. Ladies love need to know. I'm trying to tell you something. Bad listeners need to know. Well, we, they, we you know you just gotta find them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ever yeah. find some? You find them all. <laughs> I, I mean, we find. You ever find some? You ain't know you needed before. <laughs> That's what we need to do for the women out there. Okay. We need how, to just seek them out. Hmm? How we go about that? Hmm? How do we? Go about that. Mm-hmm. No, we already established it. Just DM mm-hmm. Alex. Mm-hmm. You know, no, no. 
It's grippy. <laughs> grippy. <laughs> That's it. We just give him a compliment, tell him it's grippy. Speaking of Alex, I got a problem with uh oh, shit. Not you, with Pierre actually. Oh, oh, shit. Pierre, what did I, do? Oh, I shit. believe that he lives to poke at all of my insecurities and my flaws. <laughs> I also Pierre, agree. What's up with you, man? I believe I see it. that Listen, Pierre, yeah, Pierre finds you, thorough enjoyment. He masks it behind his his role on the pod. Of is that men shit? Man. Nah, no, 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 no. man. This is straight hater shit. You gotta be able to. <laughs> this like... ain't men shit. This is shit that he literally says. I know Savon has a sore spot. I'm going to expose it for whatever the reason may be. Nah, he's your my biggest man's. hater, but he's also your biggest supporter too. Yeah, it's my man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the first part because your real friends you could talk shit to and like. So, you know what I mean? Pierre and and we're gonna do like <laughs> to real <an> real <laughs> quick hits. Courtney, please, I, I apologize. I love you. We're going to do like some quick, quick hits on these two topics. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. first topic I'm going to play, shout out to these Me? lovely ladies. Oh. And I mean this. There is nothing like a black man with a beard. Bless. God's favorite. If you said, oh, what is Taylor's type? Black with a beard. Taylor Rook says she's looking for black with a beard? And Joy. They, they, they said they looking for that? Uh, you're the first person I thought of. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> What wait? Could, could so, the, wait what? Pierre throws she, she this looking? in our group chat and says this she should look? be the starter. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I know I just got spray paint on my head, and it was a rough week. It was a long one. You got a, a beard right one. now though. Like, what's up? Yeah, you That's do. Like a, I'm tired of y'all that got the low beards acting like y'all don't got a beard. Y'all got to stop. You don't have a beard. Like, come no, on. No, honestly, y'all got to stop. A few of my homies is like that too, bro. Y'all have... When a woman says, I want a black nigga with a beard, yeah. pan to Alex right now. No, don't pan to me. Because <laughs> they, they don't mean this. Alex, Alex is baby James Harden. No, no. I just, fuck. Um, <laughs> nah, you should have been. So, Pierre, <laughs> you wanted to, to talk about this. How do you feel about <laughs> black men with a black beard? <laughs> I can only speak to he myself. I like having my I like having my beard. You know what I mean? My he, beard makes me feel more like me. Because you I have a beard, beard. I no, can't grow a beard. No. You don't. I can't oh, grow oh a you beard. just trimmed it though. No, no, but yeah, he had a little I just, yeah, I had Yeah, he, I, I remember Wait, he, 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 he had a little, little something. But you threw this topic. Looks you threw like like this yeah, topic yeah. in the chat. Like how you feel about black men and beard. <laughs> no, I mean, I could understand like them. What they mean? No, I could understand them saying their preferences, right? Stupid. Because listen, when a lady tells you their preference, you gotta listen to them. Ah. You gotta mm-hmm. listen because they men might be saying Men don't have preferences. You can, we're not men can't to. have preferences. We're not allowed to have preferences. And you, you can't, can't have it. a preference. You can't say it. Yes, Pierre, so, Pierre has a, Pierre has a beard. If so, <laughs> if so, let's talk about our preferences right now. Oh, okay. no dookie do breath. It. Facts. Physically. Oh, physically? That <laughs> yeah. was so quick. Like, right. yeah, that's, nah, that's a pet peeve. He thought he was good. So physically, I'll go last. I'll volunteer to go last. Okay. What's your preference? Go ahead, This is easy. I don't want nobody that's 4'2. Salute. I'm too tall for that. It's not gonna work. That's a little, yeah, too much of a difference. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Uh-huh. I can't do that. Okay, a nice little like five eight. Shit, sometimes I like them taller than me. You don't see them WNBA players? That's your only preference. Hmm. You ain't got no other preference. Nah. Matter of fact, them WNBA players need to fly me out. <laughs> if you, if we, while we here, he goes crazy right row. now. Shit, while we here, they get money now. They get charter flights and shit. Facts. All right. Okay. You good, boy? I, I ain't do nothing. I'm being for real. Because how you, mm-hmm. like, how I know your preference and you don't. I don't got no preference. No? No. What's, up? What's my preference? You can say it because I know it's a lie. Say, no, no. Say it. I don't, I don't have say like, it. I, I don't need have you to like, say it. I don't have one specific. I need him to say it. I don't. Oh. You have no, one? I'm not Because me, say I, I, I don't have it. one specific preference I know Alex likes. I just know, like, a vibe because every time Word, I show vibe. him, like, someone, like a celebrity or something, I know, like, that's his type. That's his preference. It's a vibe. No. But, but I can't put my it. You would never say it. Like, I don't you would never preference. say it. I had oh, mad God. different preferences. That's what I'm saying. I don't, Wait, I don't, know, what, I don't know what Savon's getting I don't know what you're talking about. Word. Name it. Say it. Because I know you're wrong. Say it. I love them all. Say it. Uh, no. I love him Pierre, all. you go. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you what his, his, And so, there's nothing wrong with it. No, I'm, no, not, no. I'm not saying your preference is anything I have wrong. One. Yeah, I just don't think I have one. No, I'm I know a, you do. I, I'm a, I, I, I could be a simple man, you know what I mean? Just Ew. can't have bad breath. I'm trying to tell you. You just stole his answer. No, that's my, that's my answer breath. also. Oh, why can't you say that, though? Beyonce. Do you want him to say it? I think it's good. Oh, brown skin girl. He pulled up the Beyonce song. I love brown skin girls, light skin girls, dark skin girls. I don't like... 
I didn't that's say a good, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I, just, I, I said what I think my man's preference oh, to be. You wrong. Say what you want me to say. Your preference. Yeah, what's your you, preference? You just said, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because 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 that's the funny shit about me. Because we know. I be trying to check. We know. Because we know. No. Your preference. Yeah. I've been trying. I was trying to check. I didn't say it. You said that. I just showed you. You ain't believe me. I just show how to say. You ain't believe me. But I didn't say anything. Now you gotta walk with the left. Yo, so okay. since you got a preference, right? Yeah. You say you're gonna answer last. We all done answered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie pulled up. <laughs> no, you weren't supposed to tell him. Bleach. I'm sorry. <laughs> we can believe that if you don't want yeah, to say it. Yeah, believe that. Believe that. Believe that. <laughs> but that's your preference. Educated. <laughs> Educated guess, right? No, you said physically. I said yeah. educated woman. I can look at a woman to tell she's smart. I bet. That's how intuitive I am. Nah, we can't I, let him get away with that. that we can't get away good. with that. That boy good. I can't bet. get away with that. I've met so many smart women in my life. So many uh, that's my intelligent favorite. women. I do love a smart like, woman. That's my fave. Oh, shit, yeah, that's really like, my preference. I don't like preference. dummies or dookie birth. You ain't say that to start, though. No, <laughs> dummies <laughs> and dookie birth. Well, that's a good title. We align. Dummies and dookie birth. Dummies and dookie birth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch it. Yeah. What? 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 You're ready. Watch what? You're ready. Watch it. Her preference. I'm joking. Her preference is her man. No, that's her preference. Bro, I was joking. Yeah. I was joking. Whatever his social security number is, <laughs> that's it. That's her preference. Those, those are her favorite numbers. Those are her favorite numbers. Come on, man. Those are her favorite numbers. You know what it is? Mm -hmm. I feel the way she said I can't go on a girl's trip. I gotta shoot at this up. I gotta shoot at her. That's not strange to you. Nah, nah. Go. It's not a girl's trip. It's, it was two girls and they invited me. Oh my God, Savon, that's not a girl's trip. I was talking about like seven <laughs> girls going to nah. Palm Springs. Nah, I can't. That was, that's a good friend trip. That's, that's a, a friend trip. trip. That's a friend yeah. trip. You, were, you, could, you should absolutely go. I definitely yeah. thought you was going with 14 women. Yeah, yeah. No, like six, right? seven of them. You get on a podcast, sometimes you lie. Yes. <laughs> I didn't lie, actually, because I never said how many people was going. You said a girl's trip. It was two girls and me. <laughs> Ah, and it's technically a girl's And it was trip. their trip. They oh. invited me. That is technically a girl's trip. There's more, there's you would have been a very men. good component for the trip. Yes. That's a girl's trip. I'm That's on it. your so side. So you security guard. Security guard. Yeah, I'm security. That's okay. it. I'm playing, yes. I'm playing my position. Oh, That's yeah, it. for protection. Yeah, okay. and it's also a foreign country and shit. So it's like, all right, bet. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, Are you yeah, going? Yeah, nah. That's smart. Hmm? I asked, I asked, you know, like, I asked. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. all of a sudden, he looked at a law for yeah, I know, right? Yeah, yeah. What, what happened? What happened? Go ahead. Nah, you Get know, I, I, thought, I, yeah. I thought maybe I might have been accompanied by another gentleman. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. That's cool. But he, he ain't go with you. He, I don't think he going. He, he has some shit to do. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Reg, we got so, anything else to talk uh, about? I know we. I love this episode, guys. I had a lot of fun. <coughs> Me yeah, too, you man. Guys been great, man. I ain't gonna lie. As did I. As Especially did I. like the little freestyle thing at the end where we just got into fucking capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> like where was we going after BBL jersey? Yo, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. Should be serious. I'm one of them. I'm old school. I still have cable, and I still wake up and watch Sports Center and CNN. What? I'm sorry, yeah. Why did right. you say that? My, my fault. I just, I didn't drive all the coochie up. Um, yeah, I don't do none of that. I'm full. I'm sorry. That's that's <sighs> uh, that's a Dalton for you. I anyway. will say, yeah. uh, Pierre. Any other like topics that you want to suggest? <laughs> like, think about your friends. <laughs> like, don't ever throw no shit in there about a nigga with full beards. Yeah, it's something I struggle with. It is, and you know that. And don't, I try. Don't struggle with it. I don't even care about oh, my body. making me sad. Bro, Stop. I'm not going to front. Your shit is Gucci, bro. I trimmed my beard down. I don't think all of that hair is like fire no more. Like maybe when I was in college and shit. And I was like, bro, I want Alex, them to Alex is yeah. like, having a beard is not even that lit. Yeah, like. bro. Like now I want them to see my face. <laughs> Feel me? How, how much would it take for you to shave your whole beard? Million dollars. I don't know. I don't, it probably wouldn't take my it'll grow back quick. So How much? Know. We'll pay you from your complex, your own bank account. Nah, nah, we don't gotta do that. <laughs> nah, nah. From nah. need to know. Nah, nah, <laughs> from my own bank account. You just, <laughs> How much? You're so you silly. <laughs> you do like what you, yo? What he said about um artists, a million, right? <laughs> 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 it's been a need to know podcast. What you need to know? When you need to know the Need to Know podcast, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and as always, leave your thoughts, your opinions, your views in the comment box. We love you. We appreciate you. We will be here next week, same place, same time, eventually by God's good grace. You stay right there. You Ooh. stay in your chair, and we love you. Dose. Bye. S-A-V-O. Oh, my God. Gang.